Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare. It is a great pleasure to be with you again. And we have laid out before you, we're not doing cowboys and Indians. We're not doing all sorts of other crazy stuff. We are doing the Polyonics, which is what we do. Because it's been too long since we've had an opportunity to come back into the playtest pen and uh, playtest some of Michael Hopper's great scenarios for his upcoming, I assume he's going to get to it, his uh, up and coming 1806, his book about the 1806 campaign. Uh, as you know, he usually does scenarios for Shaco, but I've been in the habit ever since I figured out we could do direct conversions of converting them to, uh, well, I gotta say, it's hard to say, but it's true. My favorite battalion level set of rules, LaSalle 2. Uh, let me send out a tweet and we'll introduce the players and just dive in because the cool thing here, uh, well, we do have Velker with us. Velker, you have, have you actually played LaSalle? I have, yes. Okay, you did play LaSalle. Excellent. So everybody at the table here is a, a knowing LaSalle player. So you don't have to worry about that. There is for Shaco. But there I'm... is the uh, thing going. Do, 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 Trick is going to be remembering that this is the system we're using and not a different one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, Mike's been at this longer than just about everybody else, so he, he's been I, suffering. I, I, I've been at it almost as long as you, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think I missed too many sessions of Saturday Night Fights before three, I joined you. Three freaking years. Anyway. Uh, <sighs> there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Tweets out, so we're all set. Uh, I'm not sure anyway, if my so, wife is happy so, about that or not. <laughs> Who? Well, at, at least this... It hasn't cost you a lot of money, except maybe a new rule sets. Yeah. Except maybe an occasional book or two. So it's a it's a relatively low cost hobby. But uh, anyway, we're back at the Land Grafenberg. Uh, Jena is over here, right where it says chronologist. It's down this hill, and it's a little bit later in the day. We'll talk about the scenarios, but let's talk about who we have with us. You've heard him already talking. We got Mike OJ's dad. Good evening. Good evening. We got Velker over there. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? Pretty well. Awesome. We got coming up over here from the left coast. We got Achilles. How you doing? Very well. And joining us back after a, a, a regrettable absence. We, we get to hear his voice again. We have the chronologist. Good evening. Hello, hello. All right. Uh, let's talk about the scenario. We already know about LaSalle. Uh, this is October 13th, 1806. The French have advanced cautiously in the morning mist, discovering a large Prussian force on the Landgrafenberg. Lan wasn't expecting to encounter anything more than Townsend's rear guard and knew he was isolated. After skirmishing all morning, Lan deploys his troops to hold sufficient ground for the rest of the army to cross the Saal River, which is behind him, and deploy on the Landgrafenberg. The French army would not arrive in support until nightfall, most arriving the following morning. So this again is the day before Jena. Townsend recognized there was an opportunity to crush Lan and issued orders to attack. Uh, the French, I guess a key note is the they have a foot gun that can deploy with any brigade. Becomes part of that brigade. Uh, victory conditions come from destroying formations. Also, uh, the French get a get two victory points. Count it two victory points if they have a unit still on this hill. The Vind Canola is right there. So they get a point if uh, they get two points if that happens. The Prussians get two points if they have a unit in K6. I know what you're going to ask. Where could K6 be? K6. Is this road? So clearly, I have to put the French baggage there. So the goal for the uh, the Prussians is to drive them back to there. Do, 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 do. Let me get my document up again while we're looking at it. There it is. Um, the game is 12 turns. And it is a, uh, a what-if scenario 
because Townstein has the support of Hohenlohe. He gets its extra troops that were actually available in the event. You will notice that not all the troops are on the table. Da -da -da. The first one to arrive, I do believe, yes, is Boguslavsky, who arrives on turn one. Where is Boguslavsky? Why, he's lurking over here. Got some nice hussars in there. Look at that. The uh, the one thing I will say, and we've already talked about this, is the Prussians have them some good horse. So those guys are coming from there. Uh, also on turn one, Muffling and Shemansky both arrive at the north end of the battlefield. Muffling arriving here. Sharansky arriving here. And I think you'll find them stacked up right behind uh, all this on the tabletop. You'll see them stacked on their little table there. Uh, Campania comes on turn two. Where is he? You'll notice that those are not necessarily the uh, best troops in the world, but they are what they are. And also, check one other thing. Check one list. It's been a little while, to be honest, since I've looked at this particular scenario. Make sure I put everybody where they're supposed to be. Oh, they're there. I put them way in the back. Yeah, these are actually not properly... Com these Hussar regiments are not Campania. I will have to correct their identification. Uh, they belong to Trellard. T-R-E-L-L-A-R-D. So, um, I'm going to pull up. I'll show you the... Well, first of all, let me ask the question. Who wants to be French? Who wants to be Prussians? Uh, last time I played on this map, I was playing on this Prussian, so I'll take the French. All right. Who wants to join the French? Um, well, if we don't have any takers, I'll do it. All right. So uh, Achilles and Chrono are the French. I'll let you uh, figure out who you want to take what. As you can see, you've got multiple brigades. I'll turn on the, the map so you can start doing your situationalizing, because you do set up first. Is. You know, sometimes you screw up even the simplest stuff. Give me a second. I have to go get you a whole different map. Um, but in any event, so that's the. I'll let you figure out how to settle that out. And so, Velker and OJ, looks like you are the uh, allies. All right. All right, I'll let you set up teams. You are basically where you should be. Let me go get you a proper map. Uh, so that you can use that for your frame of reference. And then we'll get started. In the meanwhile, it should be able... And the uh, skirmish values that are over on the die rollers should be accurate. I do believe I counted correctly. Please pay attention, however, if you change formation in such a way that would make me have to change your uh, skirmish values. Please. Feeling not a little bit like a dullard, I won't lie. Elker, which side do you want? What side of the horses, left or right? Um, I'd say the right. Yeah, These guys? Uh, All right. We have a few guys in the woods. I'm only going to have to pick up reinforcements. Yep.
heavy snowfall. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so, yay. I sent you a message, by the way, No, let me see. Uh, let me see. Calvary can or cannot move through woods in LaSalle, too. It can. It just costs momentum, but it cannot charge in woods. Right. Yeah, I figured they can cannot charge. All true statements. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll take uh, Riel. Okay. Uh, that leaves the other two. Yeah. Or three, actually. I guess well, there's, there's three. technically four because we have the cavalry of their own brigade, and then we have Compania's infantry, La Parde, and the second battalion. Yeah, uh, you can. I you could divvy those out when when they arrive. Decide yeah, yeah, yeah. which one you want to reinforce. <clears throat> let me uh, let me fix these we horses. Have a, oh, we have a box labeled like Duham or something. Or is that not part of the scenario? What's this? Sorry, this the yes, empty box right. at the Landgrafen. Who goes there, O oh Lord of the Table? Yeah, that should. I wonder if. That is a very, very small brigade. Where? It's not often that I use an attack, sir. I'm, Which, uh... I'm exploring the possibility that I'm losing them in the trees, but I didn't. All right, well, yeah, time, to, time to get a little. Okay. This is actually very easy to fix because I know what's it. I, I know what unit that is. Just a little puzzled. That's what I want, right? Yep. Uh, who'd you say you were taking again, Achilles? Real. Uh, Real. Okay, yeah. So you can go ahead and deploy them as you see fit, I suppose. All right. <clears throat> You know, it's interesting. One of the things that Sam did with LaSalle is decide to take the army builder and put it offline. You know, or yeah, online. Yeah. It's not in the just, book is the point. Yeah, just stuck it online instead of a PDF, which is kind of like... <laughs> which I get it, and I, I think he's got some good arguments, especially because he has had to make some tweaks to it. But it drives me insane because it means I always got to find that thing if I'm concerned about a particular statistic. Yeah, it also kept the, probably kept the print cost down for the book because he basically took yeah. out like 70 pages or something oh uh, yeah well it's big right i mean uh, yeah. it's very very big like, i understand so yeah i get why he's like i'm gonna make this pdf only because it's just like all right so that that strange missing box is now accounted for behold <laughs> oh, they are tiny well, and they're one of the interesting cases. They are, um, this is a case where the French actually are the ones with the really big unit sizes. Interesting. Um, oh, they're, yeah, the first and the second Leger actually come to a total of 2,000 men even, 
which following the principle I've been following, it's one of the only adaptations I've had to make, I go to the nearest 600 and make it that many units. So in this instance, the, first, the 21st Legere gets uh, 1st Battalion and then 2nd Battalion and then 2nd Battalion B. Yeah, they are a U.S. company, but has isn't U.S. Hi, everybody, by the way. Hey, Ian. Hey, Haz. Wait, he's all one. <clears throat> Can't all be one. You have Canada. Who's that? Oh, wait. He's together all four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, I see. Somebody got split up. Yes, this is a 34th line on the left and the 40th line on the right. Mm -hmm. There's a number of reasons why we try to keep our flag second to right. Ah. <laughs> Bear corn. Uh, I like the bicorns. Yeah, that's, uh, those are Giorgio's. He's, he, you know, and I, I certainly don't blame him. I mean, that, that would be ultimately bad form saying well why the devil haven't you given us the brand new guys yet you know um but no he uh he is he did bicorns to uh he was he was starting to work on an, an 1806 army from both sides and all he's gotten to are the i think the regulars and the lights what is the uh range of muskets again eight bait no was it no, it's not eight. It's four bait twists. Eight inches. Yeah. Eight inches. Thank you. Cool. A uh, quick question for you, Jim. Mm -hmm. I realize that the last one in line on my right on for the 40th line is actually over outside the box. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. He's in the area. He's 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 very very. Gen he's actually predominantly in the area. How's that? <laughs> the French one. Just I'm not. You know. Uh, when you're, I don't want to rush you or nothing, but just let me know French when you when you're all set, so we can uh, switch it over to the Prussians. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. My boxes are not uh, super conducive. <laughs> The boxes I've got are not super conducive to uh... anything other, but yeah. All right, Prussian, sort yourselves, please. Time for you to time for the Prussians to deploy. Yep. Uh, I'm looking over at Valkyrie. Sorry. Okay. While well, we're doing that, asking. I'll be right back. Um, the other question I would ask is have the french assigned you've assigned that gun battery yeah uh i'm gonna put stick it with uh Clipard. okay Clipard. very very good i'm missing a horse is it not that's it's these two, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Are they connected? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's them. Sorry, Field Artillery Serini. Yep. And you'll remember in uh, Blucher, or Blucher, LaSalle, you get one or the other if you want it limbered or unlimbered. Oh, so this is all, so this is one. Oh, yeah, that's I one see. thing. You replace one with the other. I see. Okay. I thought it was two guns. Negative. I know you wanted two guns, not one. Who and who doesn't really? <laughs> hey, Chrono, um, you want to pop something in the chat to give me uh, con your your command intent for my part of the field? Yeah, sure. Let me see. To beat the Prussians. <laughs> yeah, just yes, win. Wellington. <laughs> just win. Simple. Just, just win. win. 
That's what I do. Or, or, or as Gettysburg put it, get him. <laughs> that was your plan? Get her? I mean, you guys supposed to get hit with that snowstorm tomorrow? Us? Uh, yeah. It's, it's supposed to, you know, we've got one of those extremely helpful forecasts, anywhere from zero to 12 inches. Okay. I knew Chicago was, and we're supposed yeah. to get rain. We, we got flood watches out, warnings out right now. And yeah, we got, we've, it's, it's been raining, it's it's been raining here all day. Yeah, we're supposed to have up to two inches of snow and a quarter inch of ice. I didn't know. I knew Chicago was supposed to. I just didn't know if, if you guys were going to get it that far. Yeah, a, most models show it heading south of us. So, Velker, you say you're all set? I'm all set. All right. Mike, you're still working? Yeah. I'll, I'm almost there. All right. Roger that, sir. I suppose it can be a perfectly good plan. Well, it sort of goes along lines with that famous quote from quotation from Nelson. A captain cannot go far wrong if he lays his ship alongside that of the enemy. Exactly. When in doubt, game... when in doubt, attack. Yep. <laughs> as, a game, as a game master, Jim, can you see both team chats? No. Okay. I didn't know. I never... Yeah, I, I don't. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I can. I, mean, I don't see, care. I, I, I just. I can only see the game chat. That's what I would have guessed. Okay. It just dawned on me. When, well, when and, and the other thing about, is, if it's you, not a bad plan, and I just thought, just thought, huh? Oh, I, I, I never asked it before. Never, oh yeah, no, never. I was referring to. Uh, it was, I think, Tommy McGuire in the chat said that get him is a perfectly acceptable plan. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got. Do we need to place our supply wagon somewhere? Uh, yeah, you've got to put it... Well, you've got two locations to put it, really. It's either this road here or this road here. Over here okay with you, Velker? Yeah. That work? All right, I'm going to lock them down then. Right. Obviously holding on... We will be using advanced skirmishing, which is what we've been doing. I think... Uh, I'm open to anything else. I think we're we're pretty pleased with the advanced skirmishing rules with the the voltageurs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. Going back, I I've been struck by how many people do prefer it. I I do, you know. It's, but I'm certainly not the only voice here. Uh, let me save the image to memory. I've done that. Now I have hills, so we're all set. Ah, look at that. Now it looks like a proper battlefield. Huzzah! <laughs> Uh, with the Austrians do go first. Uh, just remember, Austrians, you have three forces coming on this very turn at the end of it. So let's let's bear that in mind as part of your reinforcementing. That's a technical term. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. So with that in mind, let's. Uh, and let me double check, just because I am a little concerned now that I may have done some harm to the skirmish numbers. I'm pretty sure everybody here is a three. Yeah, three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five, eighteen. So it's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty-six. Plus twelve is forty-eight. Plus nine. I count fifty-seven. Count skirmish of 57. Yeah, I did screw it up. This one will be correct. He'll notice <laughs> of all the advantages that the Prussians have, and they have a lot, skirmishing isn't one of them. You should know that. I mean, you want to take a look. Your Saxon line has a skirmish of one. 
Finish her with Grenadier, a skirmish of one, which is why your total skirmish, why the skirmish number is 57 to 11. <laughs> Not great. Now, par <laughs> now, parenthetically, by the way, we do have new Saxon figs. Hey, has. Thank you. Check out our Saxons. Got lovely uh, Giorgio Grenadiers, but over here, more Saxons. Yeah, good. Dressed up all nicely to go out and fight some French people, so that's all very cool. All right, let's uh, let us let's all. Number one, per brigade on the table. Who, who counted their brigades? Who can tell me how many you have? Uh, we have four, I believe. You should have Clapaird, Rael, Vidal, and Duhamel. So that is indeed the number four. How many you got? How many do you have, Prussians? I believe we have two. Are you, a you have three. You have Bila, or Pile, Pele, actually, who is part of Bila, Brandenstein, and Schoenberg. Oh, I see. No, Bila. I'm sorry. Bila two comes out all the same. Yeah, it's Bila two, Sereni. And you should have Ericsson. Yes, that's right. So it should, be four, it should be four to three for this turn. So you have four to three brigades for this turn. Uh, so we're behind the French, so they get four. Mark yourselves. Prussians as three. You both have baggage, which bumps you up two more. Will you be using your... Now, let's remember that the Prussians have a unique ability which they can bust out if they want from their general. They have an ability from their general and it allows them to get in that extra volley. Remember that? Okay. It is a special ability. Everybody within eight inches of wherever they plunk their commander has a chance of, uh, or gets to do an additional volley in that turn. This means they don't get the extra mo dice, and it does place their general at risk. I don't think you'd want to do it this turn, but it's not for me to say. So I asked the question of both of you. I guess I'll ask the uh, Prussians first since they're attacking. Prussians, will you use your general for initiative? No. So you're not. So you're gonna keep him around maybe for a volley. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, you're going to sorry. use them for that? Answering the wrong way. Yeah, yeah so for the initiative, I think. All right, so two yeah. for initiative. So why don't we do that then? Uh, 1d6 for initiative. Remember, it's uh, essentially a 1d3. Good, Velker. Dice rollers. <laughs> we don't have dice rollers? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I got I put them over here, not over there. Oh, yeah, they're, they're over here. Wait, no, that's the low dice. Yeah, no, that's okay. I know what I was doing. I was fiddling about. I really should stop. <laughs> I'm fine with Velker not having a dice roller. Most are. I just want to say. <laughs> I just want to say. <laughs> and uh, Velker, Chrono, all, or, uh, that's that's Velker, Mike's side of the board. And look, now you have a die. And now you have a die. Shocking unprepared. All right, let's get a single die roll, please. Velker, I think they wanted you to do it. That's one. Oh, and that's two for Krona. Takes him to eight. Velker to one. Also, for linear warfare, does that their linear warfare doctrine that does mean they give a complication if they maneuver in anything that's not line or maneuver column. Cor Correct. Uh, let's let's talk to Mike about that since that's true because you were playing them the last time. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Page 100. Remember, Mike, that you're, and Velker, your guys are linear troops, which gives you uh, some nice benefits in fire, but uh, you get an additional complication if you try to move in mass formation. You may also not charge in mass. Just charging line? Yes. 
Hmm. So we get an extra complication for moving in mass, and we may not charge in mass. Correct. So how do we charge? You don't form mass. You charge in line. We charge in line? Mm-hmm. Is that, is that, All right. Is that how this one works, where, you get, where charging in line is better? No. No, so it's, it's no, that you're thinking of Absolute Emperor. Uh, the general, now the one thing you do get is this extra intervention. Which we found actually very handy last oh, time. Oh, yeah, played, which was so. absolutely <laughs> nasty last time. <laughs> you know, and it's for any units that are in line. Yeah, it's well, it's basically free shooting for a bunch of units right. that are pretty darn good shots. Oh, yeah. So, in other words, there's almost no reason for us to, to line up in mass. Then. Correct. There's Well, the, the issue is going to be space. Right. You know, you've got to manage your spacing. For example, these right. guys here that are defending Klosevitz, they might mm -hmm. want to be in mass because they, they fit more efficiently into that space. If they're, def if they're going to move, and heaven knows if you have the idea of having them attack, you probably want them in line. Right. So I'll let you poke at it for another second. Daniel Moreno, pleasure to see you, friend. Calvary doesn't have a line, though, right? They're just in march. Correct. They I mean, go, they in mass, mass or column, I mean, yeah. they're mass, right? So, yeah. But so, so that rule doesn't apply to the cavalry. Correct. It applies to the infantry. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. There is an optional rule to let cavalry uh, move about in line, and uh, Sam doesn't recommend it, and we don't use it, so. Yeah, standard cavalry attack formation wasn't usually a giant line. It was usually several squadrons in def. Correct. Yep. I am going to leave my guys the way they are right now. All right. So having done all that and having done this, we now get to everybody's favorite part of the show. We get skirmish phase because we all, you know, so this determines how many uh, skirmies you get. It's uh, 57 to 11. Looking for sixes. Here we go. Let's see if we can break the <laughs> top simulator. Somebody's got to roll the brushes. Though. Yeah, go ahead, Velker. Yeah, but because the difference matters. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get... We got one. All right. You weren't blanked. But I think they... I'll let you know when it's finished. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. I count 12. So that's 11 yep. difference. Uh, obviously, yep. the French will have the first move. Do they have people on whom they can put skirmies? Uh, these guys up here, I think, and that's about it. Everyone else is way out of range. Mm -hmm. Unless these guys, well, the horses go out, bubble goes out to about here, but then I can still put one there. Yeah. So you're saying two? By the look of it? Uh, I think just the one. This is one unit. Oh, oh okay. Got it. Cause I have to... I can't put it through... Friend, I can't put it through enemy units. Right, correctly. right. Right, there you go. Because there's friendly enemy troops in the way. <laughs> that fellow's got skirmies. French, you're at the bat. And you have a total of, as we just saw, eight maneuver points. Uh, I'd like to first activate uh, Club Aude and their attached gun to move. Okay. For a single point. And let's see. Oh, whoops, doodle. So, I'm trying to remember distances. It's been a while. Uh, number of artillery can move up to 20. We're not going to move that far, though. Move that up there. Uh, mass, is I remember correctly, up to 12. Yeah, 8, 6, 20. 
Later Hosen give a defense against edged weapons? Is that true? I have no idea. I, <laughs> I have no personal experience in any event. Yeah, I have never worn letter hosing while under attack. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like the fact that that comes with you as a qualifier, Chrono. That's all right. <laughs> they never worn leader hosing either, for that matter. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, do you want to do you want anything you want to do with Real over there before I do some more movement? No. <laughs> okay. I'm just no, having I... visions of Chrono wearing his sister's thigh highs to simulate like that. <laughs> Alternatively. <laughs> <laughs> He, he oh, could sorry. he just... could he could not do that. <laughs> sorry, Chrono. I just I had to shake my leg first. Oh, well, that's true. A lot of baby powder. Yeah, I can I can see the leather given some resistance, but uh, but it wouldn't protect very it wouldn't protect below because they're really short. True. Uh, in order to move. Towns is rough terrain, basically, so I have to pay two if you want to move through there, if I remember correctly. Yeah. First, Jim and I grew up in an era where, where our socks came up to our knees. So. Yes, and often had <laughs> stripy colors at the top. Yes, and we're, and we're bleach white. That we invariably got extremely dirty that made our moms upset the first Ooh. time we wore them. Yeah, towns are rough terrain. Cool. That's what I figured, but... And... That hey, Carl? That. Yeah. Those, those guys he's got coming in on the left... Which side of the trees are they coming in on? They're coming uh, in on this road. Okay. Now let's just do this back here. <laughs> it's my subtle way of saying, hey, maybe we should watch our left flank. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, eh, I have reserve troops. Uh, so that's that, and then I think I'm going to go for formation change, All which right. is a global order. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm pulling your your uh, limber back to your name there. Hold on. Oh dear, that was close to the enemy. I didn't realize that. You will get an interrupt. Does it matter that they can't see? Nope. No, it's it's distance. It's just distance. Okay. The theory the, the theory has always been there's skirmishers out there somewhere. Except if they're Prussian, because they don't have any skirmishers. They have, no, they have one. <laughs> His name is Fritz. Yeah. And he is definitely <laughs> wearing lederhosen. That one, fr one Fritz guy, he's out there. It's Frederick. Hans, and he's waiting for... for <laughs> what was the other guy's name? Hans Franz. and Franz? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are here to pump you up. Frederick didn't believe in light infantry very much. He, sure, he did not. <laughs> These guys are going to go ahead and garrison this oh. town. Oh. And for those who don't remember, I know Chrono does. When you garrison in LaSalle, you never get to leave. Guys will not garrison, but these guys up front will. Yeah, you're garrison for life. And he's got to set them up in such a way that, you know, they're a certain distance away and all that other stuff. Yep, yeah, okay. That's the formation change. Mm-hmm. Do um, anything you want to change over there? Um, uh, the only thing I could think of is <clears throat> the hill that I'm on. 
if I move up a little closer to the edge of it for part of them. Right, because this hill kind of goes. You got that. You got that weird dog leg exactly. Yeah. These guys can really see over it. That also means you reverse slope, so you know it's not a bad thing. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. Except he has no artillery, so I don't have to be. He doesn't have any artillery. Yeah, but he's side. yeah, but he's also got to climb the crest if he wants to get at you. That's also true. Yeah, you can't see you. He can't charge you. He does have that, cavalry right there. <laughs> that is also true, and that's the that's what I was wondering about with the cavalry. No, I think I will stay where I am at the moment. Let's okay. let's play it out and see what he's going to do. All right. In that case, Not that I have any doubts with Velker on that side of the field. <laughs> in that case, uh, we're over. They have the chance to interrupt because we did deploy these guys within. These guys did change formation within eight. All right, Mike and Velker, you're up. All right. All right. All right. I'm trying to read up here on the movement rules again. The cell is pretty much free movement, isn't it? Yep. Until well, you get in. until you get within eight inches of the enemy. Right. I'm that starts mattering because uh, normally you can just change facing as long as you don't move more than your allotted movement. But right. I'm sorry, say that like... again. It, there's this thing where no part of your unit is supposed to go more than its movement. That that typically comes in when uh -oh. you're when you're moving and wheeling at the same time. And so if you're trying to change facing close to the enemy, you have like an inch of movement. So you can't go that, you can't really change facing that much. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, oh the, the cavalry are leaving. Mm. Not quite. <laughs> you're close. I'm outside. Am I outside your eight inch? Uh, this, they're just, they basically start with an 8. Cause these oh, that's right. right. But I thought that it doesn't create an interrupt if they leave. No, that's I right. It just It's uh, always movement near the enemy. Yeah, that's right. They're, so this will trigger movement near the enemy. The big difference is you're, you don't have to limit yourself to that lower move because you moved away. Okay. Yeah. And, can you would... give me 8 inches off your line that you just deployed there real quick? Sure. I think I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure I was out of it. You're, I just you're you're fine right there. Yeah. Okay. Although I will note that you're interpenetrating, so that's going to. Yeah, you're looking at one, two complications, so it's going to be three total points for this. All right. Unless you move the imagery first to shift them out of the way, but which you could do, but right. Yeah. Then they're also that also end up being another complication anyways because they're in mass. So yep. I think it washes. Yeah. Yep. We'll take the two hit there. All right. Bring them around. And formation changes is... That's different. It happens in a separate right. phase. Right now you're doing... Right now you moved we'll the guys in Bila too, so you'd want to yep. keep moving these guys. Yep. Yep. And I can... This will trigger an interrupt. Well, the, the the horse movement triggered an interrupt. Have. The horse already yeah. did it, so I'm yeah. as well. So you're, you might as well move up. move Bila to all you like, because you got. Um, I think you're in close contact from that eight. So yeah, so go back, yeah. Mike, to the eight. So you've only got two inches from that yeah. spot. The three point three, I can go. And then the rules for shooting, we have to be within two inches of the tree line. Is that LaSalle? It's like oh. a base width. Yeah. yeah, base width. You can see in you can yeah. see one base width, right. And the, yeah. the, the hill's in the way at this point right now anyway. So. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can't, you, those guys can't see each other. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good and you also have these, you guys are also below too, if you want to do anything with them. Yeah. Although attacking in death is very Napoleonic. So. <laughs> no, and it occurs to me, you know, we we love these lines as well we should. But in truth, you know, it's it's something that um, David Pumphouse is doing in our Snappy Nappy game. He's bringing line after line after line, which is 
what happened? Just look at those pictures of Ilau. Yeah. Like, when you look at the frontages of, like, a whole division or even a whole core, they're not very large. <laughs> no. No. And you realize because they like to attack in depth because it's easier for command to control and it also means you maintain a reserve to either... Mm -hmm. for your lead line to either fall back on to exploit if your first attack is a success. Mm-hmm. Whoever has the last intact reserve wins. <laughs> All right, if you move that guy, he gets a shot at you. Right. So that's uh four plus. Oh, that's right. He's got that skirmisher there. Mm -hmm. oh. I think that's you, Chrono, yeah? Yep. Well, I mean, I'll give it to Achilles. All right, Achilles, All right. your uh, skirmisher is going to poke at him for a four plus. Okay. Nope, nope, not quite. All right. Skirmisher goes away. No more skirmies. You have fought the French. It's all right. We have more. Yes, you do. <laughs> all right. Yes, you do. I have moved to everybody. All right. So that, that cost you a total of three mo. And that is a uh, movement in the face of the enemy. So, Chrono, you're up. Uh, French I will decline. French I will decline. I will decline to interrupt at this time. Okay. Achilles, same for you? Yes. All right. Back to the Prussians. All right. It's all you, Velker. So I will move to you again. <laughs> all this time I had them what backwards. I had Velker on my side of the field. What is the <laughs> I'm at 8 1, so you're just outside of that. There we go. <laughs> Intelligence update, mon général. <laughs> we are facing, we are facing General Da Oje's dad. So that was Serini? That okay. Was That's three more points. How many got left? We only had two left. Oh, you can't make that move. Can't? Nope. Uh, these guys here in the town can't move out. I don't... It seems I don't remember the spells for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it costs you the extra to move in mass, and it costs you uh, another one... It costs you one to move at all, costs you one to move in mass, and it costs you another one to move through the rough terrain. So you can do this for two, which means you're out. All right, that's it. French, it's all you. Can those guns uh, smack them, Chrono? Uh, I can hit these guys in the town. So I will, I will hit one for bombardment. What about, what about the... Uh... Grenadiers over on this side. Can't see or is the that out of the arc? The trees are in the way. Yep. Uh, okay. There's got to be straight ahead of these guys. There won't be a bounce through, but and they, they get, have cover. And, so. and they get cover, yeah. Yeah, cause these guns are not heavy. So, so what is that? Uh, four dice for fives. Bang, bang, pow. Bang, bang, pow. 
Nothing. Wow. That those buildings are being uh are in the way. Yeah, the uh the people in Lutzeroda see shells whizzing overhead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Uh I don't think I wanna move at this point, so I'll pass. <laughs> Alright, and they can't, so that's gonna end the turn. Okay. All right, so Austrians, all your troops are now ready to come on the board. Austrians, jeez, I do that so much. It's the white uniforms. Yeah, it is. Prussians, 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 Prussians. Note that you get Muffling, Shamans, and Shamansky, and Bogoslavsky in your turn. So. You sure it's not the Polish army? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, let's. Well, rem, I, it's funny. I'm listening to C.V. Wedgwood's Thirty Years' War, and we forget how you know. We like to imagine in America that all this stuff is so far apart, but Romania and parts east, shoot, Poland and parts east, aren't that far from Prussia. No, no, they're right on top of each other. They're, they're pretty much right there. So it's, and in fact, after the partition. They were right not they the, the Venn diagrams overlapped. So, <laughs> you think you're listening to that? Is that a book on it's audiobook? A, it's on audiobook. Audible, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be right back while they handle their reinforcements. Yeah. Uh, why don't you guys set your re- well? Uh, yeah, Volker, why don't you put Actually, your guys on? Just real quick, muff. Uh, muffling, muffling comes on here, right? Uh, let me take a look at the map. I think he has a choice, that road or the other one, right? No, there, there's two guys. He's got he's got oh. two different groups he's got to bring on. Chaminsky comes over. On Muffling over is over to the left, or to your right, yeah. Yeah, right here behind Velker. So, Velker, Correct. you take him also, because they're going to be right here in your area, and I'll take um, Chaminsky, Chaminsky, because he comes over here behind my guys. Got that, Velker? got of course, you got all the cavalry. Mm. Can I take cavalry and you take the rest? <clears throat> I'm listening to uh, Shaw Walter's book on Frederick the Great. Oh, okay. Military, his, military history of Frederick the Great. Cool. Just started it, but it's, uh, it's pretty good so far, so. It's you two chan- channels, but I've been listening to the uh, Franco-Prussian War. Cool. And I've been listening to some of Thomas Sowell's um, stuff on things like Africa. So, just interesting. I know it's what all YouTube I? stuff. I don't really watch it, obviously, but read it the same way. One of my old professors wrote a really excellent book on the Franco-Prussian War and also one on the Prussian-Austrian War. So so you bring on your troops. They have to be within 12 inches of the baseline. They cannot be within 12 inches of your enemy, and they must be in march column. Man, you are... <laughs> I don't have a lot of faith, Joker. Although they're coming in column, they're... In march column. <laughs> Do do all of our troops come in and march column, Jim? Yes. Okay. So I can go ahead and start bringing my guys on. Yes. Then twelve inches. Mm-hmm. And they have to be on the road. No, they're they they pra- as a practical to. matter they won't be able to be. Okay. Hey, Robert. Take care, John. Good to see you always.
That is a lot of freaking Austrians, Prussians. Right. I was in that instance. I was looking. I was looking right at the white uniforms. <laughs> Bilko, you you and your mother may want to get that POA for for your dad here sooner. I'm telling later. you. <laughs> Power not of that Vilker, it wouldn't be. Not that Vilker wouldn't be part of the reason that you would be needed. <laughs> I, I have played it, Ian. It's it's fun. It's fun. It uh, feels very much like a choose-your-own-adventure with a lot more elaboration. I'm glad such things exist. It's kind of the same way I feel about a W1815. I didn't see what Ian was talking about. On There's the that choose your own adventure type book of the Battle of Waterloo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got a book downstairs. It's called Be Your Own Napoleon. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've got that you book. Be, sure. Yeah, you know, like what, 40-year-old book? that mm -hmm. I haven't looked at it for a long time. but Yeah, this is a little different. This is actually more of a solitaire war game. Um, but it is very much... The thing I like about it, you can... I can't say you can play it anywhere, but you could certainly sit down at a bar, grab yourself a beer, buy yourself, have a cigar, and play it, you know? You said all of these guys come on on March Column, correct? Yes, sir. Just taking a little while to get them all realigned, realigned up. I noticed they don't have one that's Be Your Own McClellan. <laughs> <laughs> there. I'll I'll make the joke and say they're working on it. They're not there yet. <laughs> but you just wait. He, he he needs more pages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but for your benefit, Mike, there's not one that says be your own Bernadette either. <laughs> No, I'd probably be more likely to go for one like uh, Be Your Own Sherman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that Bismarck game looks really interesting, although once again, it's an example of... it. To me, to me, it's like I... You got all these guys, Velker, by the way. Yeah, Velker, you got guys to bring on, man. I do? Who do I have? All this. Oh. Muffling. Oh. Where are they Here. They don't around it, you know, because you're not going to get them on, and they have to come on. They got to be in column again. It's annoying. Well, what you can do, I, I if you want to, you grab them, click on the flag stand, and hit four. Oh, thanks Instant for telling column. me that now, as I'm doing the last one. <laughs> Figured you well, knew. That, that works. <laughs> grab them all. Make sure you're clicking on the flag stand and hit four. That's from Haz. Thanks, Haz. The Hazdrabull special. It was. Yeah. I gotta practice that. <clears throat> what's what's the negative consequences if you do it wrong? <laughs> You'll just won't get the flag stand in front. Okay. Which means I will mock you. <laughs> yeah, there will I be. Probably live with that. There you. <laughs> oh, can you? <laughs> can you? That's never happened on this broadcast before. Mockery. <laughs> It's a Travis mockery. <laughs> and I, I don't know what was the allies here noticed. Did it, you, you guys did notice that you've got guns, right? I don't... No. I don't see this deployed. Where are these guys from? Those are, those are, those are army guns. Oh. Anybody you want to... Any brigade you want to give it to. It can't be any of the ones that it can't be any of the ones that just arrived. All right, based off of our initial deployments, basically. Yeah. but they could be if like they could be here. They could move with those guys since they moved. That would be fine. All right, Velker, if you want to take, go, go, what's that, Velker? I was going to bypass what you thought. Mm -hmm. 
we actually have two establishments in Milwaukee that were that received the majority of their business from cigars um, before the state of Wisconsin banned smoking indoors. They are grandfathered in and are allowed to serve both booze and allow you to smoke a cigar. There are two of them. I've been in both. I can assure you. <laughs> All right. I... Where do you want this gun to go? You got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah. All right, you're on the board. Excellent. Now, note, you've got... Um, that's going to give you three more brigades for your count, right? Right. So that's going to matter a big deal for your momentum. Um... All right. Chrono, you back? I am here. Awesome. All right, that takes us to turn two. Turn two, turn two, turn two. Uh, how many brigades you got on the table, French? Still four. four. Good. <laughs> Just, I'm surprised that answer took that long. How many <laughs> you got, Prussians? You have six. You, four, five, you had six. three, you added three. Yep. Six. Oh, yeah. We got the guys on the so you've got six, so they've got seven. four, you've got six. <laughs> and he's going to the college prep school. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let's advance guys, level okay? math here. <laughs> uh, you both have your baggage. Add two more. Eight. So the French go to six and you go to eight. Uh, yep. Are you going to be using your general for initiative? I am. Mike, you? And what's the other thing that we can use him for? You can get a free volley. A free volley. Is that in addition to our extra interrupt? That is your extra interrupt. That is it. That, that is our. Mm -hmm. That 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 is our extra. Yeah. Yeah, you plop him down. I think everyone within is it four or six base widths? It's it's, it's, uh, it's four base widths, eight inches. Eight inches. Yeah. 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 within eight inches of the gem when you plop him down, and then you can volley. Those laws are in line, if I remember correctly. Yes, they have to be in line. They cannot do it out of March or Mass. Right. <laughs> so, Chrono got three. Are you using it for initiative or no? But what do you think, Velker? Should we use it for an extra sh shot at him? You, you just, guys just. I these mean, guys just... have. We, we have to be in line to shoot. Right. To yeah. use him. Also, worth... like... It's also worth noting that the, the intervention phase takes place before the movement. Right, right, right yeah. now, I don't think there's Better. any point. I guess I don't yeah. want to go too far, but you, there's not a lot of point to your using it right now. Yeah. All right, we'll just go ahead and use it for, for Mo Dice. All right. One. One more. Nine to nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and now, since these guys are all in March, you obviously don't get any extra skirmish yet, although you, you will. You'll get some. Um, I don't think anybody else changed their formation in such a way uh, that we, we garrisoned here. So ah, yes, that'll cost three. you three. Yep. All right. So you already did it. So it's fifty-four to eleven. Here we go. Roll them. Okay, okay. Here we go again. <laughs> okay. Mike, you want to hit yours? Okay. Sorry, I thought Velcro was. One. Hey. We're doing the same so far. Eight. How many you seven. got to give him? So it's a net of seven? Yep. Is it one for every one or one for every two? I can't remember. It's one for every two if you're using it for regular skirmishing. Right. I remember that. I'm trying to remember the advanced, advanced skirmishing. Advanced skirmishing. You've gone beyond normal skirmishing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One step beyond looking. I just want to double check. Yeah. So. No. Rolling. no, I'm looking at sharp. Here we go. No. It's the advantage by which he won. Okay. So we get seven. Seven. 
not sure we have a lot many to hand out. I don't think. But we, I don't think we do. But just because of how what we're doing, because we can throw one there, we can put one there. Uh, how far do they have to be from the cavalry? Uh, two. Uh, they have a two-inch bubble basically around them, if I remember correctly. Okay. So I, you should be able to put some on. They may not pass within right? one inch of a. Uh, Cavalry unit. So I got one over here. I got one over here. Where else? I'm sorry. So one, two, three, and four. I think those guys are way back out of range. No, no, these guys are now in range. So, but I can't. I have to ask to. You can only throw one skirmisher out per unit, right? You can't. Correct. Just Each unit gets to do a skirmisher. Okay. So well, let's do these two and, and these two over here then. All right. And we'll call that good because that's all skirmishers. All right, out. and uh, French people, you obviously won the skirmish phase, so away with you. Go. Uh, I think I'm first going to invoke a formation change. Oh. And uh, these guys are like, hmm. I have Field Commander Napoleon. It's actually not a bad game. It really isn't. Uh, it's solo, so I don't play it much, but I have poked at it. I'll leave them in mass formation. Uh, I think there's a formation change I want to do. Do you have anything you want to do? Um... Not just yet. All right. I mean, there's a... Actually, I think now I might move up to that edge. Okay. Uh, before you do that... Yeah, okay. use yours first, because mine's not critical yet. Well, just, just for the record, that's a formation change, so that costs you one, obviously not in the face of the enemy, so keep going. I'll pay one for a bombard, and again, try to shell those guys in town. I still can't see those guys the other side of the woods. Yeah, well, they didn't move. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so I think we were talking about four dice for fives. We got one this time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> those fellas in town, those th those Athilawaz Grenadiers, uh, that's going to be one die for fives. Got him. Got him. Look at that. Makes up for last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were getting a range. <laughs> and those grenadiers are no joke. Okay. So that was a bombard, which also does not trigger an interrupt. Next. You, uh, um, I don't know, do you want to move these guys? Uh, I'm going to leave them for now. I mean, I guess I can move them just because nothing else to do with them. So, and then we'll just bring them straight up like this. Not subtle. <laughs> well, they're the reserve. I gotta put them somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was a so that was a total of three points, but still no interrupts. All right, and then I will let uh, Achilles do his move over here. What you going to okay. do there, Achilles? All right. Uh, we're going to move up the 1st uh, Battalion, 34th line. All right. This is Rael's boys. Yeah. Let me get eight off. Now, can they, um, can they move forward and then change facing, or... Do they no, need to change I mean, face as, as Chrono was pointing out, you are within eight in, you're going to be within eight inches of the enemy in about a half a second if you're not already there. Which, well, which, I to get more room, but yeah. I mean, a little actually, bit. Actually, really, what I want to do is pivot them. Sure, but the point is, it, well, if you pivot them right where they are, you'll yeah. be fine. Okay, that's precisely what I okay. have in mind. That's here. fine. Very good. Okay. 
So now let me ask a question. Are, are they, will they be able to fire at anything down below them at this point? Or is the hill still in the way? Uh, you should be okay there. Yep. Okay. Very good. Okay. So there's that. And these guys, however, are within eight. So if you move these guys, they're going to be a bit more limited. Yeah, actually, I think I'll just keep them where they are. Right. Okay. So that should not trigger an interrupt. Correct. It and is over. Back to you, still, Chrono. It is still another yeah. point. Um, that's all I want to do for now because we're sitting on the defensive. So I will, pa I will pass. All right, Velker and OJ, you're up. Which one do? Go ahead, Velker. No, they don't complicate you. They just get to shoot at you. Well, can I shoot at them? No, you can't. <laughs> Not an irrational question, but no, you cannot. Can I run into them? No, what happens is if you try to move, they just get a shot and they go away. All right, uh, what's the resolve on them fellers? Five? Five or better. Whoever wants to shoot at them. Go ahead, Connor. Yeah, sure. Nope. Boom. Four will do it. Get out of here. <laughs> so I'm guessing the nope. last oh, Four up will do it. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no, he's a five. Left. He's a grenadier. Oh, uh, okay. The tree's black LOS, I'm guessing? The trees yes. do once no, one, until you get to within two inches of the edge. Sorry about their issue. They want to do your formation change before you get in, oh, yeah, any closer. Gonna, can I move? Okay. Can I move into line, or do I? Have you can, but the problem is any move you make from this point is going to trigger an interrupt if they want to make one. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll form one now. Though. You're outside right. eight right now, but once you move within eight. They'll yeah. formation change then, but yeah, it still triggers skirmishing, so yeah. that's fine then. I'm gonna start moving. No, no, you fit any el anybody else on the Prussian side want to change formations? These guys will want to. Do they have room to? No, I was planning to move them and then change formations. Not really. Yeah, I was gonna say they're they're sort of stuck. This um, gun was a bit further back. They could, but <laughs> that gun is not further back. Could he, could he not though, with uh, the grenadiers back here? He could. Put them into a line here. Or does Lichtenstein's grenadiers have to go up to the front, or can they form line off the back to battalions? I'm not sure there's enough they room. Cause it's kind of like yeah, I scary. I don't know. Is there's a full three lines there? Okay, that's fine. Just look at it. Back, maybe. I mean, front of you. Well, I think what Mike is suggesting is that you know, because you can overlap is right. That's what he's talking about. Well, yeah, that does look like it'll work. That'll work. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. You can do it. Because Sam is quite explicit that you can do some goofy things in formation changes. Um, I have a cat in my lap. Hello, cat. <laughs> What's the cat's name? Uh, Morrigan. Hello, Morgan. Or Morrigan. Morrigan, yeah. Yeah. That sounded more like a cat. To be change. honest, that sounded more like a cat name to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all don't artillery forget. Also count for the formation change. What's that? The artillery. Yeah. Attached, so you mm -hmm. can unlimber it if he wishes to. Also, you have another skirmisher there to shoot. Also. Oh, let me. Yeah, that guy. Let me roll for that. Mm -hmm. Since I'm here. I'm move my guys. Move my... Hey, got him. Yeah, I shoot and Chrono. Y'all don't forget, you got these guys over here if you want to change their formation too. Yeah, basically, it's a global order, so anyway, we're all stay formation. Yeah, so you can change that. You can unlimber that gun if you yeah, want. That is what I would like to do. All right, so what you do is you take that gun, you put it, and you put the back of its base up against the nose of the battery here, and then we just get rid of this. That will trigger an interrupt, though. When you're done formationing, yep. 
say that's a global order for the entire army or just for that brigade? For the entire army. Oh, okay. Yep. And I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and take advantage of that information and change my guys, too. Not to me, they're not. Huh. Huh. Mine, mine did not look like that. Yours did not load correctly, I guess. I guess. They look very colorful to me, so. Yeah. Which pleases me, because I love their uniforms. <laughs> saucy Saxon artillerists. I see much formation changing still going on. And Volker, again, to make uh, Achilles' point, you've got these guys in Bogoslansky. You can change their formation, too, if you wish. You do not want to charge and march column ever. Uh, Bad news bearers. <laughs> In that case, these guys will change formation. Back to their space. I can grab the guy. Might have to offset it. Have them go back. Yep. Or you could oh, throw these guys into line. Well, no, that's still making their frames. So. <laughs> That's some pretty fancy horse walking over there. They're living <laughs> honors. <laughs> I like these guys' uniforms. It's green and red. The, uh, the artillerists? No, these guys. Talking about these fusiliers over here. Oh, Elker does love his horse. Yeah, I've decided not to give them flags because fusiliers typically didn't have battle flags. So. Well, they had them, but they didn't carry them into battle. Yeah. Traditionally, you needed Saxon, combined Saxon grenadier, grenadier units. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of formations have changed. Do the, uh, do the Prussians want to change any others? Yeah, you know what? Might as well go ahead and change these guys in the back while we're doing it now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go jam up there. Because we can do the same thing, right? That we did up here, so. You can, but it's going to be even harder. I mean, technically, you could do one off the guy. You could this, yeah. kind of like this guy do off the front, the guy next right. guy go off the guy second, right. guy number two, and the last guy go off number three. Yep. But, <laughs> yep. So. That's legit. You know, like. Are you going to are, are you going to interrupt Chrono? At um, that point. Well, I'll have to wait for you to finish your movement. <laughs> he might. Okay. He doesn't have to tell would, you. Would we... The point was, is not, if I'm changing these guys around, that's all. I, I was just looking at trying to <laughs> save some time. from. Uh, I mean, I probably will be interrupting, yes. Well, so, so I think his point is, if you're going to interrupt, why don't you then? Because he's just going to be doing that. Good. All righty. Uh, let's see. Um, Actually, you know what? I might help. Well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's interrupt and fire a volley. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't not doing anything. My son was needing me for a second, so. No problem. Nope, nope, that is my headset. I'll get everything re-lined up, Jim. I'm just moving figures out of the way. Actually, can we? Is there is there a button to push if we hold the flag to put them in line? Yeah, one. One? Man. All these buttons. There we go. Secrets here. <laughs> uh, so we'll pay one and do a volley. We only uh, have one target at this point. But... I was gonna say, what you shooting at? <laughs> <It's a> gun. <laughs> that gun. Cause I don't like it. Look. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. So okay. Um, who's got shots? All four or just the three? Just a three. This guy, I do not think, is in range. All right, so that's uh, five, and that's in range. I gotta go back and check. Wow, I actually gotta check modifiers. It's been long enough. Uh, uh, are there modifiers? I I don't know. I I'm not saying that there are. No. Uh, okay, there's no modifiers here. Shift down. Okay. Shooter is shaken. Target has cover. No, it does not. Okay. Yeah, it's just. Um, so it's five for what fours, you got? I think. Five for. Five for fours, yeah. 
Bang, bang, pow. Got three. Now the hard part, three for six? Yep. Yep, three for six. That's what makes them resilient. But, but, nothing. It's all threes. <sighs> oh, <Nothing>. man. <laughs> You were going really well there till you fell I off know, that right? cliff. I was, I was like, oh, I oh, ran out of gas. <laughs> uh, I, think we have any, I don't think we have any other shots because these guys are way back in the trees. Mm -hmm. These guys are behind the trees and the hill. These guys aren't in range yet, so uh, the Prussians may interrupt. Okay. Yeah, no, I buggered up all these guys. I'll straighten them up here in just a minute. Those flags are so wrong, it hurts my heart. Which ones? Well, first of all, where did the Sac Grenadiers flag go? Oh. Not there? Sure yeah, it's right here. No. Drums there. Was there never a flag with them? Why not? Oh, no, no, never mind. He's got a sergeant. Yeah, he's got a sergeant with a. Uh... Oh, what's that implement called? Doggone it! Pike? No, no, it's not. It's not a pike. It's uh, it's 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 a derivative of a halberd, but it's smaller. Somebody in the chat is going to know, and it's going to be very embarrassing. <laughs> Not a musketoon. Stop it. My head is stupid. Um, so yeah, put your flags second to right, please, so we can see where they are. Just so we can always check orientation. All right, so the question is, you now have the opportunity, Prussians, to interrupt. Do you? How do you want to? Do you want to? Uh, give me a second here. Probably. Yeah. What do you think, Velker? You want to take a shot? Uh, okay. Oh, I'm, let me let me step back here. Reformation change. That's they're they're done moving, right? Are you? No, they done? can move again. They can still move. Okay. Yeah. Spontoon. That's it. Thank you. It's a spontoon. So now you wait do a minute. Everything once. <laughs> what do you? What do you mean if you hit the escape key, your selected unit will go back to its start position? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm sh I shudder to think what that'll do. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's I, not experiment I, I think that's with far that too great. <laughs> We're going to have to check that out later. That seems like a lot of power. Okay, so um, the Prussians, you have an interrupt. What do you want to do? All right. Velker, do you want to shoot your artillery gun over there first? Yes, I would. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to bounce once. No, it's a volley. That's canister range. Oh, is that canister? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So I shot at it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I give you credit for that. I, I missed that completely. Uh, net effect of canister is... That's doubled. Double your, yeah, six. Yeah, you Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's doubled. So he's going to be rolling six dice for fours? Fours. Yep, six dice for fours. Four hits. Four. And that's Legere. Four dice for fives. Roll? Yes, you roll it. Got one. Okay, that could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, getting canister yeah, in the face, that, can, that could have been lots worse, for sure. All right, that's, a bum that's, a, that's actually a volley. So if you got any other musket fire that you think you can do, you'll want to do it. Because that's going to give them an interrupt. Yeah, did you like um, four inches for everybody else? Did you already deduct them, Jim? Uh, I did not. Did I have not been deducting, Mike? So you did a. The only thing you did was that formation change, correct? Correct. And then you volleyed, so that takes yep. you to seven. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot about yeah. that. 
Uh, no, it's base. It's individual bases, Valker. Okay. And so you've got to be. You just check base to base to see. Oh, we have a crash. We have a Unity crash. Dog on it. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Going back in. Well, it is Wednesday night. Which seems to be the night that everything goes to the devil. <laughs> all right, which was the latest? What time is it right now? Oh, that's not bad at all. Cool. Server's back. All right, except I super needed to do the one that's multiplayer. That's that's what I really needed to do. All I need is connected. Oh, I just connected again. Yeah. No. All right. I'm back. You are in the white color currently. Let me get well. Let me not be. He wants to play the Austrians. I don't. <laughs> or is it the Saxons? The s <laughs> is it the Swabovians? Oh, wait a minute. Shoot. Belker, I think I was right before, wasn't I? Yeah, I Just make sure you reset your teams. All right, so there are no other volleys that I can detect. Did I move this back correctly? I, this had not yet been done, so this is now nine, but down to seven. Uh, French, you're up. Um, I think we'll pass again. All right, back to you, Prussians. All right. Belker, do you want to move? Do you want to move? Uh, yes. Because uh, <laughs> these guys can move after things for Mason, right? Yep. Alright, and how far does horses move? Horse in mass. 16. Or in check. this case, less. We're going to check <laughs> 8. Oof. Yeah, it's, that's eight is right there. So at, once you get to there, you got two inches. So you got 6.6. .6. So you can go another two inches. Yeah, there you go. Is that one movement? Or, I'm sorry, one... Uh... This is one point. Guy. Yep. Just deducted it. 12 inch. Uh, sorry, that's line. That's four inches. And line is just eight. Oh, is it eight? I four base four. widths. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can... Yeah, Achilles, we got, we got to get you to set that right. Yeah. Your, me your measuring tool. I know. You can go to 6-7, though, Valker. <laughs> all right that's everything for, so that's just one point mike for bogoslavsky however that's yep. an interrupt french um i think we will let them continue again prussians Welker, if you want to go that. ahead oh good chrono i was looking in the wrong spot uh I think I will fire another volley. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This time we're going to do it over here. Sure. Do these guys have shots? Uh, I think they do. At these horses. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. we'll... Which, which one do you want to do first? I'll do this line against this line All right. first. Alright, so it's six. Uh, six for fours? Yeah. Six for fours. 
Four. And four for fours. Two. Not yeah. bad at all. Pretty good. All right, and these boys. Uh, they that's have two, two dice. for two for fours. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing there. All right, that's a volley, so he's paid for that. Uh, back to the Prussians. All right. And just bear Volker. in mind, Volker, just so you know, you could shoot at them if you wished. Yeah, so... Well, right, but that would be a... Oh, right. Yeah, it's a volley, which... I didn't know, but I didn't know if you wanted to try and move these guys here up into a shooting... Yeah, you certainly do that. Cost you before we, we, yeah, before we did a volley fire yeah. is, is my point. It would cost you two points. Well, you are literally at eight inches, so you're going to get to move. So, yeah, you will not be able to get into a shooting position. Okay. Because those trees are still going to be in the way. I mean, yeah. Some of their bases might, or two, their edge bases might. Just yeah, I think there. the two flank bases would have a shot, but the center won't. Yeah. If I just sneak pretty much straight this way. You'll have the hill in the way. And don't forget, you get your uh, fusiliers back over here too. Seventh and They're hiding in the trees. Last well, that's probably something I can do. Is I can put these guys in line, right? Formation change. What's that? Can mix with these guys in line as well? I'm sure you have space. Oh, I have space on this side. Well, it's the same thing as before. You, you know, he can do one forward and one backward. That's true. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it, just if you're going to do that, Velker, you may want to go ahead and consider taking uh, muffling and formation, changing some of his guys too at the same time, just so you don't have to do it later. But that's up to you. I just got a giant parking lot right now. And yeah. I know. <laughs> we may we may need to. And then once yep. these guys are further up, then I can bring these guys up into the forest and then change their formation. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you need a formation change, go ahead. Uh, or should I just move these guys right now? Well, them? remember, if you move them, that costs three points because they're in mass and they're right. in trees. So it's more expensive to move yeah. Them. You might as well do the formation change now. What's that? It's, it's more expensive to move in mass than it is in Yeah, because you guys, it is much harder to control men in a column, in a, an attack column, than it is to control them in a line. Basically, Basically we don't have the control line, over... Like you're, you're super slow. Well, you don't, you don't have the tactical discipline is what you don't have. And then I can move right. after that, right? No, you don't move. You just okay. make your formation change. Now, you're going to be able to do something else because you're not doing it close enough to the enemy to trigger a reaction. And I I moved the point. I took the point, eh. took the point, point off, okay. too. For the, so that, the, that changed these guys' formation. You want to move something here with Muffling, too? Yeah, I'll move these two down. Well, okay, show me what you're going to do. You, you can't move them. No, no, you have to change their formation, I mean. Where's that? Well, if, if you want to move them, that's a separate action. You don't want to change their formation, you're just going to move them? Okay. Because I don't want to move these guys in the line. So All right. Take forever. Yep. That makes sense. And that'll be, and that'll be two points, though, right? Correct. All right. Because they're entering trees. How far did you say it was, sir? Uh, in column. Twenty inches. Oh, those guys are facing the wrong way. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn them around. <laughs> and just notice that. I think you just select them and hit one Q or E, and they'll rotate in place. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh, you had it. <laughs> it will cost two, but yeah. yeah. All these guys are back.
Now that's what I call a parade ground maneuver. By company, right? We hey, all Peter. <laughs> Achilles is indeed here, Robert. I am. Uh, he says, long live Vermilion. Ah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> okay. And and since they're all muffling, you can move them all. They right. just okay. and you're gonna want to keep them near each other because otherwise you can't do these group moves. Oh, that's a good point. Fair point. Was that movement two more points, Jim? No, all this is two points because this is just all muffling. No, no, no. I I meant in addition to what. Formation change. Yes. Right. Yep. So we're down to two left. Okay. <laughs> well, Robert, I don't know how much longer I have to live because I'm I've been arrested and in, in prison at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> that the red versus blue thing on the IKS server. Yes. What? All right. So that's muffling having moved. The gun from Muffling having moved. They're over in these trees. That was a movement. It's actually still the Prussian turn because you didn't do that in the face of the enemy, so you can go. That's what I like on this game. You can do whatever you want as long as you're not close to the enemy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> spend away. But the other thing is, be careful how you spend. Right. You only got so many. So just moving... Uh... Chaminsky would only cost us one point, though. One right? point, correct. So we'll just go ahead and work on moving him. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how far? I'm more than eight inches out, I think, aren't I? Yeah, you're, you're, your eight inches is right about there. You're, you're about to get to it. Okay, I just want to say just outside the eight inches. Mm -hmm. That's why I was... You said eight inches for the guys in line? Yep. I know I'm missing a guy. I'll Those guys did not want to come. Yeah, they were finishing up their, their schnitzels. schnitzels. Yep. Their peppermint schnapps. Moving the guys in, in March line in March column though is no penalties. No extra, right? correct. It's only in mass that you have to pay the extra. Yep. Looking at it from above, you certainly know where the Saxons are. <laughs> they do kind of stand out. They're shiny. <laughs> all right. That all that was another point. Yep, I got it. And uh, you still didn't do that in the face of the enemy, so you could keep going if you want. Oh, uh, we got, what, one point left? Yes, sir. I don't have anything else, Velker. You good, Velker? I think I'm good. All right, over to you, Chrono. Um, I think wait a minute, wait a minute. We, oh, do, wait. we do have one. What's that? I'm sorry. Uh, the 22nd Fusiliers, can they volley then? Yep. Oh, yeah, they could. Oh, yeah. Yep. Bulk are going to volley? Yes. Right. That's six for four. What did you do to the die roller? Oh, because we reset the table. Oh, we had to reload. Nice. So which one are you messing with? This one? No. It's a reset issue here. How about now? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So again, six for four. Three. Three. And that's three for four. One. One. I'll take it. Mm. A little something. Make them think about it. A little entry gift. All right, that's it. Uh, French. Um, we don't have anything to shoot at. I don't, uh, 
I'll pay for a formation change. All right. And these guys will uh, go into square. <laughs> Doesn't seem imprudent to me. <laughs> Our first bot of the evening. Dead bot. What turn does uh, Campana arrive? Uh, I was end just of this a, turn. I was just about to check it. I do believe it is now-ish. Yep. You get them at the end of the turn. Is it the end of the turn? Yeah. Well, they yeah. show they show up, right? And you, you deploy them out like they did for turn one. Well, I'm going to do a quick movement. With our last two points. All right. You promised to make it quick, though. Yeah, it's just <laughs> going to be these guys going like this. Oh, look at that. They're not garrisoned, so they have none of the benefits, but they are in... Well, they got cover. They got cover. And he can't go charging in there, so... Yep. Much to... Uh... Dalinor chagrin. Yes. <laughs> uh, interesting also for uh, Snappy Nappy... Infantry or cavalry can charge into villages. They cannot charge into towns and cities. That makes sense. Which I, which I, I like that. I think that's a reasonable compromise. Yeah, I mean, villages are usually not that built up. It's no, well, villages okay. are usually just a bunch of houses in a rough form, you know, and maybe a couple outbuildings. All right, so that's really it for the French. That's it for the Prussians. Nobody has any momentum left. Let's get uh, the French to bring on in March column. Uh, uh, Jim, Campa I think you killed somebody that wasn't in a bot. Campania. I did? Oh, no. <laughs> I did? You just killed a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I deleted... I de <laughs> Who did you delete? <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Robert. I went after Robert. I'm not a bot, I'm a man. I'm not a cat, I'm a human. I'm here live. I'm, I'm here live, I'm, I'm ready sure, to proceed. I'm pretty sure this is, I'm pretty sure this is an episode of Star Trek. I'm pretty sure this is Give him, give him the robot test. <laughs> yeah, true. You, you are getting, Runner? you are getting Voight comp for me right now. Is this an overpass? <laughs> that, that was all Tommy's fault. Way Tommy to go, McGuire! <laughs> Insulting our guests. Uh, so yeah, I think you said Achilles. You were going to be commanding Campania's guys. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Chrono. They're coming in. Where are they coming in? They come in. They on come this here road? right where this is, yep. And they gotta come in twelve inches and in march column. The horse do not come with them. I don't I don't okay. know why that didn't get corrected. Uh, one of them did, the other two didn't. Oh, okay, let me fix all that. So you just you take all the infantry you want, you get no horse. Well it looks like you're gonna need them, Chrono, not me. I guess. Give me a sec. And again, up to twelve inches. While you do this, sure we're surrounded, but we have the advantage of interior lines. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Okay, everybody, I now figured out what Has was talking about. The next time we screw up any measurements, if you move a guy like this and hold, keep holding on to him, watch what happens when I hit escape. Yeah. It goes back to where you started moving him. Thank you, Has. <laughs> Try doing that on a real tabletop. You know how many near fist fights I've had about guys arguing about where his unit was before he started moving it? We have heard of at least one fist fight that results in criminal charges. Good point. <laughs> and no, that was a that was a paint that was a paintbrush fight. It's probably started as a fist fight. <laughs> I, I, you know, your sunny optimism is appreciated. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. It's it, in California. It is so, it's always sunny there, isn't it? Unfortunately. Uh, no, not where I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Robert is threatening us with assimilation now that it's been determined he's a bot. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Borg have arrived. <laughs> Seems only fair since I deleted him. <laughs> Resistance is futile. They all look like Picard. 
Lacutus. There are four lights. <laughs> Is this all right like that? Take a peek. Twelve inches. Should be. Yep. Dead on. Cool. Like it. I like it. Perfect. All right. Then they're be right they're back. Ready to go. All right, this takes us to turn three. Let's do turn three. I think that'll be fun. Uh, now, the uh, French have bumped. That's that's momentum, not turn. Turn three. Um, the French won't pick up any skirmishers. Did they lose any skirmishers? Did anybody uh, lose any skirmishers? Firm square there. So they lost three. Yeah, that's three down. Two. 51, well done. Did the uh, Aust did the Prussians pick up any? I don't. Th uh, they probably picked up a bunch, actually. These three picked up. And also these guys that formed these line in the trees. Let's count these because they're ones. They're all ones. One, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, and eight. Then looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16. I believe that's what I see. 16. Okay. 16 total. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, they're bringing, in, bringing you into range now, French people. It's 51 to 16. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh they're closing yeah. the gap. <laughs> serious, serious now. So that's six brigades for the Prussians. Five that, for us. that is now five for the French, so six to five. Okay. Two okay. for the baggage, so mark yourself with that. Um, now, general, French will French. I imagine you'll be using it for the initiative. Yes. Uh, yes. Prussians too. All right, roll it. One d six. Good. One for Chrono. Ouch. <laughs> Velker, that's you. Go Velker. Two. This is more right. than last time. It was. Ooh. Double, in fact. Double, double. Uh, and now we roll uh, Dice Fountain for turn three. Here it comes. Go, Velker. Here we go. Uh-oh. Forgot to clear it last time. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Got one again. <laughs> <laughs> Increase our dice, and we still only get one. <laughs> yeah, you are eerily consistent in your rolling of one skirmisher. Nine, I think. Right. Yep, so net eight. Net eight. All right, now there's some already Which... out there that we didn't clear up last time. Yep, in front yeah. of my units over here. That I strongly suspect you'll just want to keep. But you, you all tell me, French, where would you I like to you put will... eight skirmishers? I'll put one, two there. Yeah, six left. Uh, three. Mm-hmm. Uh, four. Got it. And uh, I'll put one back, all the way back here at five. Got it. And uh, it's your game ball, French. You get you won the skirmish phase, so away with you. Uh, I'm gonna do a movement first off. All right. Uh, give me eight off this uh, line here. Mike, can you do that or Velker? They just need a distant measurement. We are going to retire back this way. And we'll call that good. Was that within eight inches of your foe? It was. It was. All right. Well, very good. You uh, then will, as you know, trigger a response. Prussians, what do you want to do? Belker, I think we ought to go ahead and do a formation change first so I can unlumber this artillery. All right, go ahead. And then at the same time, if you want to go ahead and get some of Muffling's guys... Put in the line. That's up to you, though. 
These guys in the trees. Oh. Uh, is that, isn't that two different actions? No. Or? No. Formation change is global and it affects all unit types. Oh, cool. Sure. Yeah. Well, where you go then? This is going to be complicated, though. It, it is. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a logistical dance. Yeah, just so you know, Mike, you are triggering a reaction by doing that, but... Yes. Yep. And you said hold the flag guy down and then hit the four key, right? To do line? No, oh, yeah. To, to, to do line. It should that was be a, one. That's a one. The column was four and line was one? Yeah. You see, it still puts the flag clear over on the left. Yeah, because that's where it's going to want to put it. That That's true. That... It doesn't work as well for line, but it's a quick switch. Oh, okay. I thought the way you talked it. it... Yeah, what what I would do with line is probably grab one of the other units, just because by random chance it'll probably I, I can't quite figure out where it's going to put it, but. Gotcha. Those guys have got to feel like the boys in pickets division. In the trees. Yeah. What are we going to do, <laughs> sir? Oh, there's only about a mile of open ground. <laughs> I, so I, I grabbed the third unit in the march column mm -hmm. and hit the one, and it put the, put the flag guy right there, right where we wanted him. Perfect. There you go. Well, they we do have one thing going for them, though. They don't have uh, cross-fired artillery on that open space. Good point. I took the uh, one mo off. This is in the face of the enemy. French, you're up. Uh, I think I'm going to bombard first. Where's your, where's your artillery piece? Only got the one. Oh, that one there. Got it. I was, I was looking for it. Bink, bink, <laughs> bink. Uh, what's he going to get? Many things. Give me the other half, please. Yeah. All those things and then sixes. All right, that's that. That is that is many shots. Uh, four for four. Come on, guys! Roll it. Two hits in the first one. Four for six. Nothing. Four for six. Oh, nice. Four for six. One. All right. So these are all fives, I think. Yep, two for five. One. One. Give me a sec. Sure. <laughs> it's little nibbles. Uh, two for five. It's all attritional. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And one for five. Nope. What I'm really grateful to Sam for is how few modifiers there are. Yes. <laughs> it's really simple once you know how. All right, so that's a bombard. What else you got? Uh, let me see. Uh, I think I'm going to move go for a move order mm -hmm. and we're going to kind of scoot back out of canister range <laughs> <laughs> and really who's to blame him like, that's a lot of can that's a lot of canister you know, I think any canister is a lot of canister. That's my thought. Yeah, I agree with that. It's just my thought. All right. I've always, I've always been partial to beehive rounds. <laughs> sure, sure. At the arrow appropriate. Um, so that that single unit, the first of the seventeenth, that was it. Yeah, because these guys. I mean, they moved these guys. I guess, but I don't really see a point in doing that right now. All right. Prussians. 
All right, Velker, you have a move a movement you want to make? Yeah, I think so. What's um, that? What's that going to be? We got squares now. I like squares. I like lines. <laughs> and finding the point at which they intersect. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're back in geometry class. Actually, he's doing a Cartesian graphing. There you go. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And you're giving me the skirmies? He gave you the skirmies. I did. Okay, let me look at someone else then. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to move these guys. These guys in line. Right oh, now. okay. Erickson. Uh, you have a skirmisher on that. Yeah, you so. got a skirmisher anyway. Yeah. Free, <laughs> free shot on a was it a five? Are they five? You got a six. Well, it don't so. matter what. It was a four. Ooh. Ooh. That's two, two mo right? Bang, pow. Uh, no, yeah, there's gonna be two mo because they are in the trees. Yep. Skirmisher's gone though. Go ahead. Yeah. And how far do they move? Four inches, right? Or Eight. You got two guys, you got both units there, yep. which is fine. Yep. However, however, however. From, ah, uh, come on, there we go, that point, you got two inches. So you got eight. So it's you, full you, eight. Yeah, you get, you get your full eight. I plan that. <laughs> okay. And that's an interrupt, right? It is. It is. Got Actually, he... Oh, yeah, because Erickson's a separate unit. Yeah, Eric so. is, Erickson's his own brigade. Muffling, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's French at this point. Um, I think for now I'm going to pass until I, until their attack develops a little more. All right. Prussians continue. You paid for that, right, Mike? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Prussians. Want to move them? I'm asking you. Do you think I should even try? To oh, move I'm sorry. I can barely hear you. Yeah, you got to talk up a little. Should I even try moving these guys yet? That's what Velker sounds like. If you want, just throw in the headset quickly. Yeah. Should I try moving these guys, or should I just leave them be for now? That's up to you. Depends on. I, I guess I'm not sure exactly how Zach. Hmm, I'm not sure how you want to form up your attack. If you want, I can go ahead and move some guys while you think about it. Go ahead. Off some points. All right. So Bila's gonna two's gonna move, which I know there's a couple of uh, skirmies there. Oh my goodness! Finally. So and I'm gonna who, take who, off two points wait, ahead of time. Yeah. Who's going first? Um, it doesn't matter because they're all Bila, right? No, they are, but I but we gotta resolve the skirmishes. Oh yeah, so um, we'll go first over here on the. Okay, first battalion, uh, 12, twelve Saxon line gets a shot. Uh, that's a four. Okay. Nope. Nope. Missed. Missed badly. Bila's coming through the trees. I'm assuming you're within eight inches at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Two inches. What's that? You only got two inches. Only got two? Mm-hmm. Because you're in the presence of the enemy. Oh, uh, that's right. Can I do a... Uh... Nope. You're going to have to oblique. I can't. <laughs> you Because the point is, this is something Krona was pointing out, when you start to wheel, you're going to get mm -hmm. one click, and that's it. Okay. You want to wheel? You can, but like I say, that's going to be a total of one click. That's yep, it. Like that. You're done. Yep. I'm good with that. They're being very fussy about their uh, <laughs> their intervals. Well, these guys should be. Uh, yeah, they they got more, but where are you going to take them? 
Well, I'm just going to move them up some closer. Sure, yeah, that's fine. Take advantage of getting the extra inch, or not quite inch. Mm -hmm. All right, and then over here we have the Fusiliers, the 14th. Yeah, Fusiliers the get skirm a four. Skirmish. A few Achilles, four or better for a skirmish shot. Five. Five. Got him. All right. And they all get a two-inch move. Mm -hmm. And then I have the Calvary. <laughs> they are zooming back and forth, no doubt about it. <laughs> Few point six. What's our total movement? Eight sixteen inches. They should still be outside the eight I inches there. So. Yep. All right, that's all the Bila, and I already took my two points off. Yep. All right, now so... just the inside eight inches, so French. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I will pay a point for some movement. Some moving. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Hey, Richard. Tommy McGuire, you take that back. Velker, there's a message for you in the team chat. Talk about getting the shovel, McGuire. I'm telling you. Well, Peter, I will tell you that uh, as things go on, we're going to keep play testing, so there will be seats. All right. That's that. All right. At the, but that was all Campania, yeah? Yeah, that was all yep. Campania. And not in the face of the enemy, so roll on Big River. Uh, formation change, I think. All right. This is a densely packed battlefield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's much more densely packed than the last time we were here. It looks beautiful. So, what was the difference? Last time, though, our cavalry, Russian cavalry came on here. Mm -hmm. Was that just a, a change in the scenario, or this is just a different scenario? This is a this is a different time. Different time. Okay. Yeah, this is later. This is gotcha. we're getting closer and closer to the actual battle of Yena, or, or the actual battle. This is Yena. This is. This is all the preparatory stuff where uh, Lon realizes he's caught. Because that's who this is. This is Lon commanding all this. He realizes he's caught up to something very big. And the Prussians who are heading, who are leaving, they're heading off this way. Suddenly have to swing around and confront the and And their, their failure of deliberation... If they manage to push the French off this area, this Landgrafenberg, which is this whole thing that they're in, their backs are against the Sala River. They're not getting out of here so easy. 
Okay, that's done. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll hand it over to the Prussians. Prussians. I had a move Let's see. in mind. You have, you have a move in mind? Yes. Oh dear. Go ahead, Velker. <laughs> if Odin doesn't have anything, but I got two <laughs> horse. Mm hmm And they're going to slide. Are they... But they remember they're with an eight, they're with an eight, they're with an eight, so they only get two inches. Two two? Mm-hmm. Unless you take them back outside of the eight. Yep. Yep, that's fine. And how far do they move? Exactly. Sixteen. Yeah. Does the skirmisher get to shoot? Or only if this fusilier moves? Only if that fusilier moves. Okay. I can't remember if, was, if they got to fire for the brigade or... or did nope. I... Battalion's got to do something. Right. Yep. All right. There we are. That's it. And I just still... Yep. And I just deducted our one point. That was, however, in uh, was that unit originally in the face of the enemy? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So back to the French. Mm -hmm. Still have a whole lot to shoot at. So. Are these guys still out of range over here? Which ones? Over on they this are, side. They're yes. in the well, trees. we're too far. Yeah, they're too far in the trees. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tommy McGuire. No, no, Leipzig think, was great. Yena, Vagram, hooray. <laughs> I think uh, I'll pass it back. Okay. Prussians. Go ahead and take our bombardment there, Velker. Oh, yeah, the bombardment would be Well, you had to figure that's coming. That would be enjoyable. I think that would be enjoyable. Remember, yep. none of this hill stuff is going to bounce. Right. Just trying to decide, because this artillery doesn't have a shot at this artillery, right? I think it does. I think it does. Does it? Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. I'm going to take both artillery and try to drive, do something against his artillery? Just remember how hard it is to hit artillery. Right. I yeah, thinking, I know. Are they going to bounce shot here? No, because it's going uphill. Yeah, because it's uphill. Let's take the shot of Relcor against the infantry. He no, specifically outside. backed outside canister range, so that's why you're bombarding. Yep. Who do you want? Who do you want to go first? Um, don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, go ahead, Velker. Go oh, this one here, then, or this one? The right one. Uh, the right one. Okay, so Serini. Uh, Serini is fire path. So three for four. There you go. And that's two for two for five. Got one. Got one. one. Nice. That's what you get for hanging out on the foot of a hill. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That'll show you. And Szymanski gets three. Firepower is three for four. Yeah. One. One for five. Got it. Look at that. Ow. Yeah, he's he's heading into a place he don't want to be. It's a lot of artillery fire. It's not comfy. No, no. All right, that's bombardment. You may continue as long as you've paid your point. Da, 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 da. There's our point. So we're down to two Velkers. So if you want to do something, go right ahead, because I really don't need to move anybody right now. Yeah. All right. All right. That's gonna be. That's gonna take both points. Got to eat that skirmisher yep. shot in the puss. Uh, one for five. That one's you, Colonel. Uh, yep. Let me roll that. Got him. Yeah. Man. I've been hit twice by that. All right. Forward they come. Two inches. Yeah, pretty Basically. much. You might as well move everybody else behind him up too. Don't worry. Don't yeah, okay. Let's as long as it's all serene. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can't move these guys. 
that would be three points. No, I wasn't okay. moving those guys. I was just moving these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th so, those were the two that I was okay, more referring it. to than anybody else. All right. What about the artillery, though? Can It can't move because it would go through the village? Or no, no, you shoot village. it that way. That's fine. Yeah. And what's the other field? Oh, this is muffling. Never mind. All right, French. Uh, one sec while he checks on it. Okay. Um. Uh. Do you have anything on that side of the field you want to handle? I mean, I know we're kind of sitting and waiting at this point. So. We can tell. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, you know, if if they're not going to make you have to leave, why would you go? If um, if you don't have anything you need the points for, then I, I have a move I can make. It's just uh, it's not it's not emergency or critical, but. Uh, right. But I'll do it when I when I can. I have something I want to try and do. So, okay, They're go for it. Important. So we'll see. Uh, I'm changing for <clears throat> doing a change formation order, and we are uh, gonna limber up this gun. Actually, do we want to do that? They can't really see me. Yet. Well, they can. This guy can see me. So, so yeah, we're gonna limber these guys up. Which, uh, it was an 8, I believe. So, Do you have any formation changes you want to do while we're, uh, while we're doing this? Oh, yes. Um, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Chrono. Sure. Um, what are, what's the possibilities for these Hussars coming out of the trees over here on my right? They're, they're not going to be able to move... Well, actually, I guess once they get... Once they get with an 8, they slow down. Yeah. They okay. can try and skirt around this way, but I don't know what they're going to do if they get all the way back there. So, I mean, okay. we were back, now, back there. Cavalry can't charge into trees, but it can charge out of them? Uh, let me double check. I know they can't charge into them. I was just looking at that. Yeah, that, that I understood, but I wasn't sure whether they could charge coming out of them. It never ceases to impress me, impress me that in a relatively straightforward set of rules, Sam covers all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking... They may not charge through or into. Which there you go. Through in teams to apply, they cannot charge out of it. Then, uh, I would, well, I would, I would say, yeah. I mean, if you're in it, you can't start a charge. Because that's okay. charging through. Very which, good. Which then, makes sense. You'd have to emerge from the trees and form up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I shouldn't. I shouldn't need to do any formation changes at this point. Okay. All right. Uh, so that. That does trigger interrupts because I was near the enemy. So if we have nothing else, then over to the Prussians. It's back. Do they have any points left? They no, yeah, they, they don't. don't. Oh, in that case, I'll continue. Please do. <laughs> Spend a point to activate Videl here. Mm -hmm. And I'll shift uh, this guy's. That's a one. 
And then I'll spend one more to do one more move. And bring this gun back here. And that is that's it for us for the route. I think we'll slide one more turn in this evening, a turn four, getting us one third of the way through the battle. We had a lot of time for setup, unfortunately. But uh, we'll go to turn four, turn four, turn four. And I do believe we are still at six and five in terms of brigades, correct? I believe so. Yeah, I don't think that's just, so. that changed. Who uh, changed some formations that might affect their skirmishing? Anybody? Uh, we do we, yeah. These guys all moved out, came out of March Column. Ooh, that, that could be a lot. <laughs> Good, the French get more skirmishers. Hooray! Uh, That's another see. seven. Um, what are you talking about? That's another 21. Oh, I was saying seven times three. I was doing math in my yeah. head. So. Another 21. So. <laughs> we're, so, we were worried because they were catching up. I, I know, they were catching up. Well, so we said they had to have that. <laughs> We had to deploy, so suddenly now it is 72 to 15? 16. 72 to 16. Hit it, lads. <laughs> we might be able to put a skirmisher on every single individual one of their soldiers. <laughs> we, got, well, we did so well. We got four. Holy we cow. Four. That's, that's actually that a lot. That's the we got last time. All the other all the other turns. Look, if it, like this is clearly exponential growth, which means next turn you're gonna get six all sixteen. And the dice are still rolling, may I note. <laughs> <laughs> They're still rolling. <laughs> they oh, this is so dumb. I love it. <laughs> I think they got more than wow. Two, yeah. Eight, How many? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Sixteen. So 12. Lord. It's any consolation, I've been in that position. Yes. And somehow, man, you get beat the French once. <laughs> so we could put two skirmishers on every one of their brigades. But tragically, <laughs> tragically, you don't get to so, do that. You only get to put one, so go right ahead. All right. We'll do one there, one there, <laughs> one there, uh, one here. And then one here. There's already one there from last turn. Yep. I think that's it because we can't put skirmishers through enemy units. Right. So. And by the way, for those who find that absurd, and of course, as as Chrono says, it is dumb and delightful. This actually well depicts how far ahead the French were in terms of skirmishing. It's, it's one of the things about this particular battle that you see in every single freaking narrative. So I don't really have a problem with it. So it's six. Uh, it's yeah. So it's seven to eight before we get into anything else. Both of you, are you both going to take your general for initiative points? I am. Yes. Do it. One for the one. French. Price three. Right. Ooh, three for the for the Prussians, so. I thought I almost said it. <laughs> I, I stopped myself. I stopped myself. All right. Uh, and the French have the, uh, have the, like the French at Wa it's like the French at Wagram, I swear to God. Did we miss adding some, some command points somewhere? How so? See, we had six for our units, right? And three yeah. for the dice. Because last time we had 11 movement. That's yeah, because you, did you give points. yourself two for the baggage? No, that's what, thank you. I keep forgetting. Can you lock that down please thank you i feel bad but i saw chrono grabbing it too and moving it around on his side yeah lock chronos too then it's just easy to, to grab that yeah, pipe stick. there you go all right french you're up uh i'm gonna do Okay, I'm going to do a formation change first. Ooh. One. Uh-oh. Here we 
They're moving. The unlimbering uh, of guns has begun in earnest. <laughs> and do you have any movement you want to do as we continue on? I have some stuff I'm going to do, but it's going to trigger interrupts. So. Oh, no, you're fine. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to activate uh, Club Power of the Day uh -huh. to, to do some movement. Mm -hmm. Oops. This may cost two, then they have to do some air penetrating, so. I should have done that. Oh, well. And I think that was in the face of the enemy, so they get a an interrupt. Yeah, they do. All right, yep. Prussians. Wait. Was that no. Velker? He just said great. <laughs> Velker, if you don't mind, well, let me think here. I realize I should have a formation change someone else, so it's formation changing other people. That's fine. But... And unlimbering the artillery is a formation change, or yes. that's not a formation change? It, it is. is a formation change. Okay. All right. Hey, Velker, do you care if I go ahead and move Vila? Go ahead. All right, so we'll take the two points for him. Leave us nine more. Oh, oh, oh. What is this nonsense? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He's zooming. He's a zoomer, that's what? for sure. What do you think you're doing? Something. He's just being sneaky. Getting out of the woods. We'll see about that. Okay. Shoot your little scrimmy guy here in front of the uh, 12th Saxon. All right. So you, Achilles? Yeah. Got it. Bang, bang, pow. <laughs> I see that more as pew. No, Gunther. Shot me right in the chocolate bar. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> and you might as well take the one at the 14th Fusiliers, too. When did these Hussars come in? End of this turn. Ah. Same place as the yep. previous? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. You hear that, Velker? Did you shoot Achilles? No, he did not. Okay. I don't know if you realized. Yeah, he's oh. got somebody's got to shoot one. at these 14th Fusiliers. I think it is. Achilles. No, they don't. They don't have to. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yes. You could not. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. You the the, the ants got him. <laughs> well, we kind of didn't. <laughs> the tree ants got him. Nice. <laughs> we kind of didn't shoot at him, so. Well, you shot at him. You just didn't hit the broadside of a bus. We shot at something. 
You hit a Squirrels. tree, you pissed off the ants. Good <laughs> job. Yes. Now Treebeard's <laughs> mad, and this ends badly for everybody. Mm-hmm. All right. That's everybody for uh, Bila 2, and I already took the two points off for that. And you were in the face of the enemy, French. Yes. Uh, when did we get to shoot at him, Colonel? Uh, <laughs> please, oh, please, oh, please. <laughs> they are not yet over that crest, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but these guys, these guys over here. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys. Is it eight inches or four inches? Eight. It is eight. I I was thinking it was eight, but I thought, well, maybe I was remembering that wrong. Oh, you might as well try and volley. Well, yeah, let's volley. Do you want to move something before we do that? Because that's an interrupt, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Uh... I don't think there's anything I want to move right now. Radio. Let's shoot. Volley time. Volley. Where do you want to start? Well, do, do, do. I'll start with these these guys over here. Got them both, you think? Yeah. Two for fours? Yep, two for fours. Two. Wow. Oh. And it's also two for fours. Do it again. Do it again. I'm trying. <laughs> I got one. Well, got half of it. That was average. Well, but the overall is well above average. Ah, mm-hmm. Next. Um, head over to Achilles, I think, who's got a shot. All right. All right. You want to shoot those boys in the trees? Yes, sir. Six for fives. I threw you something in the chat if you didn't see it already. One. Yeah, one. Got one. And one Damn. for four. Got, got it. it. Made it stick. Okay. And uh, what about these guys? Can they shoot at that same unit? Uh, uh, I believe they're in range. No, nah, that's not the issue. It's this uh, ridge line. Yeah, this guy here can shoot. That's it. Ah, uh, okay. You, you you might as well. I mean, you never might as in, well. That's right. In uh, in Lasalle, <laughs> you don't not take a shot. One for five. Not uh, not wasting ammo, so. Nope. Although that kind of was. <laughs> All right. I believe that's all my shooting. All right. Oh, that's, the, that's the end of the volley. Back to the Prussians. Yeah. Belker, do you want? Do you have some movement you want to try first, or do you think you, you want to try the bombardment first? Uh, I'd say we start with the bombardment. All right. I think we have to shoot at the uh, 34th line, don't we, 1st Battalion? Uh, do you have a, do you have to, pri- do you have to priority with art- artillery? I didn't think you did. Unless it was mandatory targets. Yeah, if it's volleying, it's mandatory to the front, but I don't think you've got that for bombardment. No, we don't. So. Cause I'm thinking we want to go for the 17th and see if we can drive them off the field. So you want to shoot at these guys? Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, don't you think, Velker? Yeah, but he's uh, Mike is arguing that you want to shoot at these guys because it would drive them potentially drive well, them from the field. I mean, they're 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 at half strength already. Is my point, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, who's going first again? Yes, left go, or right? Go ahead, Velker. Serini. All right. Yeah. Uh, three for four. There's no issue because of the elevation, right? Nope. Just won't bounce. Got one. And so that's one for. Four, five. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Ooh. And how far down does he have to go before he's in uh, trouble? It just, it just he's happened. He's in trouble now. <laughs> it just okay. happened. Woo. Our first shaken marker appears on the field. 
and to remove a shaken marker. He has to he has to rally. He has to take the rally action and get above his shaken level. He's on fire. Right. Fire has happened. Uh, Mike, you can keep going if you wish. That's yeah. uh, three for four. I'm just trying to figure: Do I want to shoot at him again, or do I want to maybe do some damage to this guy? Thirty uh fourth -huh. now. What do you think, Velker? Shoot at the seventeenth again, or go for the, or start trying to do some damage to the thirty fourth. I think keep going for them. Just so okay, that we'll do it. Three for four. For them to rally. Two hits, two potential two for hits. five. One. Oh, on his very last legs. How oof my bones. <laughs> All right, and I think <laughs> my bones. That, I think that goes back over to the front. It does not. Bombardment does not trigger anything. Ah. Volleying does. So it's all right. Elker, let you make some movements. Oh, uh, there's skirmishers everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know what, Velker, if you wanted to, and correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, he could move muffling first because they're not in the face of the enemy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. correct. I mean, I know it would cost, him, cost us two points, but he could move those. There's no skirmishers there, and um, it would still be our turn if we, if we yes, wished it to be. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, that is, yep. I think that's a good idea. At least that way, too, you can get him out of the woods this turn. Or muffling. <laughs> Can't get out of the woods. <laughs> yeah, it's eight inches, so you gotta. You want to? Yeah. You, if you stop right there, you're fine. Oh lordy, they coming. Um, you <laughs> left one guy back here, and you also have your artillery back here too. You can advance up if you wish. You definitely don't want to interpenetrate him though, because that would be an extra complication. I think he can. No. Yeah. Uh, the, field, the artillery and march column can... Oh, that's there. right. That's right. They well, can just go where they want. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I just well, didn't want him to forget that it was back there. No, that's right. That, that's I all. appreciate it. Yep. All right, so that's two uh, points, uh, but as uh, Mike said, that's not in the face of the enemy, so you can keep going. So, I was looking at this cavalry over here, and I can't charge, can I? No. Nope. You're, you're outside the eight inches, right? It doesn't matter. It's it's yeah, but char right. Oh. It, charge range is eight inches. Is the point? Right. right. There's okay. the Lasalle is specifically built to prohibit that sort of a charge. Right. Yeah. And remember, though, he's got cavalry coming on here at the end of this turn. Just he's got yep. these three cavalry. He's going to have three squadrons of horse. So you got, yeah, you got two more inches from that spot. Now you're inside. <laughs> That's just one, but that is in the face of the enemy, so it is the Prussian turn. Or French turn, sorry. So both wear blue, so. Uh, I'm going to rally, perhaps surprising no one. <laughs> I think you've got the Galatza Brigade. Or is that? That's a force order, right? Yes, rally is a force order. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do you want to chrono? Yeah. I was just gonna say, do you want to just? Can you? I don't know how possible this is. Can you just pull them back through the unit? I could. I think they already moved this turn, so. Oh. Okay. I'd probably do that next turn, but I'm gonna try and rally him because he's not close to the enemy. So, so you, that's yeah, exactly. rallies your action. This is five for this is five for fours. Uh, for threes, right? Because I, thought, I thought you rallied four, five, six. That Blucher is. I thought Blucher was three or better. Rally. Uh, four plus resilient or not near enemy is three plus. Oh, okay, so five for threes. Uh. 
Ugh. Oh, my goodness. That's, That's a, a kick in the shorts. No kidding. They are shot. Yeah, they're they're they they've informed you they wish to be done. Like, sir, we are we are uh, we we are leaving. <laughs> we've 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 uh, signed a petition for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that, however, was not in the face of the enemy and rally does not trigger interruption. So. Uh, you have any movement you want to do on that side? Um, I'm going to shoot at these cavalry. So. Yeah. Actually, I do. Okay. So you're going to activate Real? I am. Yes. Are you doing any Activating Real. All right. Do we have the points for it? Yes. I give okay. you two, so you can move to difficult terrain if necessary. Mm. Ah. I forget to give this eight inches bubble off this side now, too. Yep. Horses. Well, these guys... Uh, these guys are going to be within already, eight inches. Yeah. Yep. So you got two inches. There we go. And actually, what they're going to do, assuming I can get away with this. Uh, okay, so each pivot from this point is how much? Two, Two inches? inches yeah. Okay, so basically they could just do one. That's it. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> yeah. I'm making the assumption, Chrono, and it may be an unsafe assumption, so you need to tell me. All right. Um, are you going to use our cavalry against this group, this cavalry? Potentially. We'll see. Maybe. Because if you're not, I have reserve infantry back here, and I'm going to pull one of them back to protect my rear. You may as well. I mean, we have a ton okay. of reserves right now. They aren't pressing the attack very heavily. And we still have this whole unengaged brigade right here that we get in the center we still have. Okay. So I think that is a safe bet. So now if I want to turn this dude around. Just turn. Because he's... Isn't it freeing? It's freeing. Yeah. It is freeing. <laughs> I don't have to freak out about any of that. All right. I did pay two, so you can move through that rough terrain if you want. All right, let me see what this looks like. Oops. You can go way down here if you want. So you got 12 inches, so. Yeah. You okay. Right there. Let's so do you that. Want to change the facing again when you get there. Oh, wait. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want him getting there and having to stay in mass. I'm going to need to change his formation. Yeah, it's a different payment entirely. So. Okay. So if I stayed out of the trees, you don't have to spend that extra one. Right. So that would be basically down this way. Yeah. Let's do that. And then, yes, I will need to change his facing when I get the opportunity. Or change his formation, I'm sorry. And I get the opportunity. No problem. All right, let me adjust that. That wasn't the face of the enemy, though, so they do get interrupt. Yep. Prussians. Belker. All right. Did you see my note in the chat, by the way? Team chat. Robert is admiring your advance to the rear, Achilles. Oh, I see. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I'd like to move to these guys. All right. We yeah. have a skirmy there to shoot <clears> the <throat> first. Skirmy. Take your filthy skirmy shot. However. We had a phrase for that, but uh, I can't say it on live on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Without changing our rating. 
<laughs> yeah. Nope, nope. whiffed it. Velcro would have to wash his ears out. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Two inches, basically. Yeah, two, two inches. Yep. Yeah, I'd go full two inches up, I think. But, well, yeah, yeah, no, you, you, you were right, Velker. Swing them off to the left there more. Nope. That's all right. They are outside of. Yeah, right there, they had two more inches from that point. Basically, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. And that was one point, right? Yep. And that allows them to interrupt you. Uh, I will do a formation change. And that's your cue, Achilles, to make your formation change. Thank you, sir. You don't have one of those fancy ones that turns them into a square, do you? No. <laughs> hat. Yeah, I don't ampersand. Think <laughs> no, I was going to say has, but I don't think has did that, did he? That was. I, oh, I don't think has. We don't got anything to form square, right? I got the one point for that taken care of. They're over there making their formation change. Did oh, you make right. where was your where was yours, Krana? Uh I pulled this guy. Oh, you've made it a there. mass, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're on the front there. Face of the enemy, so okay. Yep. Uh back to the Prussians. Okay. Are you well okay that does not are technically are you, are you okay look like a here? square. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's more like that. yeah. Yeah, I'm not I didn't do that right, so yeah. Like this, like, like this. All right. Wait, Velker. Wait, you... was... oh, go ahead. <laughs> Come here. Oh, Foreman Square. Oh, the there it is. Of... Foreman Square <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> God bless you, you know twice, it. man. All right, back to the Prussians. <clears throat> Velker, if you want to move somebody, go right ahead. These guys yep. There's, there's a scurvy. <laughs> Pretty much, oh, you can fairly well assume there's going to be one. Yeah. Can you not? I uh, didn't get him. I could not, but why would I want, want to? Because you like me? <laughs> I'm sure he does. That has, that, that has nothing to do with... Howsomever <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> this, this is business, Michael, not not personal. That's it. <laughs> He's taking this very personal. You you can you can move up all of Serene if you want. Oh, uh, yeah. I can do that. You're right. As well as his gun, should you wish. Oh, I got it. Those guys you can't do anything with because of, well, hold off on doing anything because we got two points left. Yeah. Right. If you move them, we'd be down to one. Right, and that's the uh, and that's an interrupt face of the enemy, French. Uh, hmm. I'm going to volley. Volley? Where do you want to start? Uh, I'm going to do these three guys shooting the cavalry. So I'll start down here and go up. All right. So it's got to be these two here and this one there. Yep. Uh, so two for four. One hit. One for five. Got him. Look at that. Get out of here. Go away. Get out of here, you. You there. Uh, okay. And now we got these guys here. Two for four. One. One. One for five. Nope. Then two, two for more. four. You, you got them both. Yeah. Yep. And one both and two for five. Both. Ooh, nasty. Oh, wow. nice. That was nasty. <laughs> Go on, shoo. Okay. Go away, horse people. All right. <laughs> These boys here. Is that, is that still range? Eh? 
No, they're out of range. Okay, out of range. Out of range. All right, other volleys. I think you probably had some, didn't you? Uh, I may have Those are out guy. of range. Uh, this guy has it. Nope, he's nope, out, of range. out of range. They were in range, but then I formation changed, and yeah, now yeah. they're out of range. How about this mess over here? Uh, they're, this? Already, they're already shot this turn. Yep. yep. Oh, that's right. That's how they opened up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's all she wrote then. That's a volley, so the Prussians go. All right, I think we want to try to volley in, in return. Cause you would like to exchange like love? Would you like to exchange love with the French? <laughs> yep. Time to exchange love. That's very nice. Where would you like to start exchanging love? Oh, Bila's the only one that's in... Well, no. I think Velcro's got some guys in range, too. Nope. He does there. Mm -hmm. I think so. These are two stands down here can shoot this guy. Yeah, this, these, this guy can shoot here, and this guy can shoot here. Okay, and then Bila can shoot too, so. Well, Oker, hang on now. Take... Is he clear? Oh, yeah, he's actually clear of the trees. So this whole unit's going to get to shoot. All right, take your shot there, Velker. Which one? You can uh, drive the 17th off. Oh, they're out of range. Shank. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Never mind. But I think they're in range of these guys and over here of the 34th too. At least the, the one this guy can like think. tap that guy and i think this guy can also just barely tap these guys yeah so it's good well let's start here then that's gonna be a two because i think they got rapid fire yeah so that's gonna be a two for four on these guys one one hit one for five one for five got it Ow. Look at that. Didn't even it's know him. Now on the very far deep. left flank, I think there was somebody we said in range. Was there? Is that true? Right here. Yeah. Does the, right. um, yeah. does the hill perfect? No. He's on the he's on the forward slope. Yeah. Okay. He's on a forward slope. Uh, so that's two, four, fours. Velker? Two for fours. One. And now one for four. And uh, Matt, plinkin'. Pew, pew. <laughs> Winkin', plinkin', and nod. And then Bila up here. Yep. Eight. That's eight for four. Four. Four for four. For four or five? Four. Ooh. Three. They're Ouch. mine. And that will... That hit him for three? Yes. yes. Shaken. Yep. My wife's good luck has helped. <laughs> <laughs> it always does. I would think so. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I I would, you wouldn't I... know yet. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Good shooting. Any other volley in then, from the uh, Prussians? Does this left side of, of the 12th Saxon have a shot of here at the uh, 40th line on the edge? No. No? I, okay. Uh, no. <gasps> I didn't know because if these guys were too far enough hill, down. Too much, too much hill, and, too much And I'm trees. good with that. I would, yep, uh, and that's all the sh volleying I got. I just wanted to ask the question. Mm -hmm, I wasn't sure. sure. I knew I knew what you were saying here, so I just didn't know if these guys were singing around that yeah. or not. So. If they okay. were, I'd have shot at you last time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, maybe. <laughs> uh, He's right. worried about this cavalry running around the side here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a volley, so back to the French. I'm going to spend one for a bombardment. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to shoot straight ahead of this guy. No bouncer this time. Downhill. That's uh, four for four. Four five, sorry. Two. Two, anyway. Two for fives? Two for fives. No. Nothing. And then I will spend my last point for a formation change. All right. There it is. I was like, that, that can't be long in coming. 
<laughs> and that was Tempting. his last point, correct? It was. Yep. Tempting fate. Yeah, we've got one point there. left, too. Mm -hmm. Elker, I didn't know if you wanted to get your artillery, Serini's artillery, unlimbered or not. Okay. I would like to do that. All right. If I may. Unlimber your gun. You know how to set it. Didn't you, Chrono, actually win the initiative roll, the skirmish roll, one time as the French? I did. Well, as the uh, uh, as the as a yeah, as... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it was like when he really needed to win it too. It was very entertaining. Well, was... but we, I think it was at a time though too. We beat up, we kind of beat up on the French quite a bit though too. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we we had the two fusiliers that we were using rapid fire and in in the extra volley fire. And just putting the quite a bit. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the, other thing that one, is... the French came way out out here somewhere, mm -hmm. and they yeah, or somewhere like that. We've got a we've got a proper mm -hmm. battle developing here in a space that it didn't happen last time. So, well, the other thing too is we had that extra cavalry back here because we yeah, brought them up here and forced all these guys into square. That's right. Or some of them yep. into square, and yep. we just used the volley fire against them. You know, we were getting two volley fires against him with rapid fire against squares and... Just chewing him up. <laughs> we just, yeah, literally, that's what we were doing, is, is we were just chewing him up. All right, so, Chrono, I think did Achilles... you... I I just want to make sure, Chrono, did you finish your formation changes? I did. All right, so let's move the marker forward to turn five so we know where we are. Turn five? Turn five, that's where we're going to finish. We're obviously going to start there next time. So let me do a save, and I got a couple questions because we're uh, any notes for do Michael we, that he has made a habit of watching our videos. So any do we notes bring for, these Hussars on first? Oh, by all means, please do that. Thank you, thank you for that reminder. Column uh, twelve inches up to. Look at that, Has. They're all suddenly masters. Masters <laughs> at making columns. He's going to be so proud his head won't fit through the door. That's right. <laughs> I've heard that one. Yeah, and it is. It's, it's, the, uh, it's actually the prelude to Yena, if you will. It's uh, October the 13th rather than the 14th. Uh, I don't think notes so far feels pretty good. Densities feel good. Uh, I, I, it's obvious that we got a lot of guys on the table. You know, this is that, I, that does feel properly Napoleonic to me. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I think the story. I think this is a story. So far as I see it, if the Austrians, it, it almost becomes. Who said this? Was it you, Chrono, that says that Sam basically builds games that are uh, traffic management? Traffic management <laughs> end up being very attritional. Yes. Which is, like, mm -hmm. proper for Napoleonic warfare. Right. Ultimately, he, he, this battle is about traffic management. He, 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 even the Prussians here will have trouble, not just the Austrians. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. The Austrians, the Austrians have trouble because they're not even on the field yet. <laughs> yeah, God knows where they are. Heaven they're knows. They're, they're down in Vienna. <laughs> as, far as, uh, as far as we know, they've declared armed neutrality in this thing. So, um. <laughs> the, yeah, their, their trouble ended last year. <laughs> right. Yeah, they tried to branch went down in a place called uh, I think Austerlitz. That something. was my memory. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. yeah. You guys are. It, 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 um, even with all of the numbers on the board, you know, it doesn't feel like it's constrained. So. Yeah. I, any more than it's supposed to be. So it, it yeah. and it looks wonderful. Yeah. All these reserves just hanging out waiting. <laughs> So like, as they should be you're yep. supposed to keep you're supposed to have reserves right right i think sometimes we who play napoleonic minis we want to have this long thin strip of guys from flank to flank yeah mm -hmm. right and that's, that's that's true i think of war gamers as a general thing i see it all the time so that like, i have to protect my flanks but it's like reserves can protect your flanks yes <laughs> yeah. that's that's well, what yeah, they exactly. do <laughs> But but I see that as a as a kind of a general thing amongst war gamers in, in as a general rule again um, that that they frequently don't use reserves. Uh, it's it's almost like they have this strange collective feeling that if 
if not everybody's in the front line, then they're being lazy or something, you know? I think part of it is just, maybe part of it is the sort of the modern conception of warfare involves a lot of focusing a lot of firepower. And mm -hmm. so the natural inclination is to think, well, obviously I have to win by getting all my firepower online and having more mm -hmm. firepower than the other guy. Right. Yeah, you don't want any guns not used. Right. <laughs> well, that's a great, that's a good way to put it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whereas the Napoleonic <clears throat> commander is thinking more in terms of... Well, you know, read Face of Battle Waterloo. Yeah. Yeah, face yeah of, very good. There's, yeah. there's a, you know, there's stories of how guys were in insane firefights in melees, and other guys just stood in the stood in the smoke for six hours. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they just stood yes. there. You know, they, they, and every now and then a cannonball would come and kill somebody. <laughs> but, that is a yeah. pretty common experience in combat across the board, I think, probably for all time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... it's... There's always someone sitting in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going, hey, what's going on, man? Six six <laughs> seconds of intense action preceded and followed by hours of existential dread. Or, yeah. or either that or they're standing there watching two tanks take on a sniper while they all applaud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, or and that's the other thing. It's like, to your exact point, why would I go get that sniper myself or with my troops if I've got a tank? Yeah, just well, I got knock. somebody else's. I got somebody else's tank. Yeah, there you go. We're, we're just I've got to stand I've over got, there and watch. I'm not sending guys up that hill. I'm going to shoot them with artillery. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and pretty effectively so far too. I so mean, far so good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, to but to Chrono's point, you've got it's now turn five, so you're almost you know you're pushing halfway there, and yep. boy, do they have a boat ton of reserves. <laughs> You know, and you've got great forces and great troops, but it will be a continuing challenge. I think you and Volker did a good job of trying, you know, it's clear to me now that the minute you can get yourself in line, you just pretty well have to with one of these linear armies. Yeah. Right? As big a pain as it is to lose the, the flexibility of mass, it's just, it you just, you can't, you can't afford the momentum. Yeah. I Yeah. I think two things I forgot. I, I missed on Coach and Velcron was getting these fuselers up within shooting range earlier only because they're rapid fire, right? So they get the bonus dice. Yep. And then maybe not having Serini go through these woods necessarily. No, Ian, you're that's... absolutely right. LaSalle does give for all... It, it's so strange, too, because for all of its incredible flexibility and movement, it gives a very Napoleonic, a very lovely Napoleonic battlefield look. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. that that's that's very much to Sam's credit. Yeah. yeah. Because... What I wasn't sure about is how aggressive Chrono would be. Start. I mean, for me in this one, it's like I don't want to come down off this hill. <laughs> like, I don't... Yeah, I, I don't yeah. see a lot of reason to do so. No, <laughs> I mean, but he did start coming down here. He did. So he, he did. He, but, he, he but did. you know, and that's 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 why he's got two units that are on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole point of that was to push my can up to see get a few decent shots off as guy, these guys came down in mass and then pulled yeah. back. Yep. And that's what mm -hmm. it did. So and those, the those, up, those boys are coming. And these yeah. infantry are really up there to support the guns in case someone decided to get, get in close really early. So, yep, the, the MLR is up here on the hill. <laughs> those, yes. Those guys, yeah, were, yeah. those guys were forward forward defense. <laughs> so, so well, from a density perspective, a troops perspective, obviously we can't judge balance. We haven't had a chance to play it all the way through, but mm -hmm. so far, so far, so good for this one, Michael. Um, mm -hmm. And well, thanks to everybody who played. Thanks to everybody who watched tomorrow night, tomorrow night, tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully we get CT and we get Mike and we play our next battle in uh, Operation Martlet for Chain of Command. And on Saturday, 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 we go back to the 1809 campaign and the blind Kriegspiel boxes and have <laughs> masses of men bump into each other. But we've actually got uh, two great battles brewing, one at Abensburg that most people who know Napoleonic history have heard of. The other one, of course, the very well-known battlefield at Au. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the... Uh, so, so yeah, history is a little bit different. So please join us for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Uh, 
get yourself safely through the week. It is past hump day, so that's awesome. But in the meanwhile, until we meet again, please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll talk soon. <laughs> I was...